Okay, there we go. Hello, hello, everybody. That was a weird time for uh, an outage to occur, right? As the stream was going to start, it went down instead. Uh, but we're back. So, uh, the stream may begin properly. How's it going, Yang? Steve with a B. Enrique K. Haligonian. Skeptic. The Zid. Been a while. How's it going? Thanks for 22 months of support. During the pre-roll, Neutral Chaotic with five gifted subs. A big thank you for that. Um, Neutral Chaotic says, I just wanted to say thanks, Baylor. And Kefisel with two months and the tier one sub. Appreciate it. Two wins away from unlocking the final ship, huh? How many wins have we gotten? Four. So we're we're a ways away from this uh, last ship yet. And there's more crew to discover. So for those of you who have not seen Cobalt Core, this is a delightful uh, little roguelite that came out uh, earlier this week. We originally played it as a sponsored game. Uh, the demo originally for the Steam Next Fest. And we played it again for the full release. I've been enjoying the heck out of it, so I would like to keep playing this until probably we get all of the memories for all of the crew. Schwarz Zeichen, thank you so much for 59 months, went away from five full years. It's pretty crazy. Full run of this takes uh, around an hour and a half, has been our average, actually a very consistent average so far for us to get to and defeat the third boss. Last time we played, we unlocked the Gemini, a powerful ship with dual cannons and missile bays, which both cycle after firing. Looks like it's got a lot of base hull, too. Here he says 9 by default. This says 12. Okay. It's a reasonable base hull. We're definitely going to try out the Gemini. Um, and I also want to try out a crew combination that I think will be challenging on purpose, which is Riggs, Dizzy, and Max. Um, essentially the three lowest damage dealers that I've seen. And I'm curious what kind of... These are all essentially support characters, and I'm curious what a deck made from three support characters is going to look like. I don't know if that's going to go well with the toggling cannons thing, but we'll figure it out. J-Mag, thanks for the 10 months, one metric year, and Jester's chest hair with 30 months, three metric years. Currently off topic, but that's... The Spire stuff is always on topic for this channel. Had your first A20 heart victory, which couldn't have been possible without all the knowledge you acquired from the channel. Congrats, and fantastically done. Yeah, I, Isaac with the dual dro drone bays, I, I think would be absolutely ridiculous. I think the dual cannons are going to be more of an inconvenience than a good thing, but that's part of the uh, the challenge here. I'm, I'm wondering if this is if this is going to be doable or if it's going to actually be too difficult. Uh, let's let's just find out. So we've got eight max hold by default. This is a run where I could I could actually see the max shield being really important for Dizzy doing stuff. Um, so we should think about losing either max hull or gaining a debris. Man, I don't like gaining garbage cards. Let's lose two max hull, see how that feels. Doesn't affect our starting hull, very notably. We can either remove two cards, upgrade two random cards to type B, or upgrade a card as our starting bonus. Let's see, we start with just some basic attacks, just some stuff that draws one. We've got admin deploy to exhaust cards. Draw shot. That's some good defense though. Scramble, shield surge, block shot are all pretty helpful. I would not mind upgrading random cards to type B. We can get more valuable stuff. Although block shot A does too. Basic shot B does too. Okay. Raw shot B does too. Yeah, I think I want some type B upgrades. Although if we hit admin deploy, that'd feel weird. Ooh. 
What do we get? Draw shot B, excellent. Scramble B, move randomly two, then evade two. Okay, that seems pretty good overall. Wait, this is new. User cat. Unzip OXF3.dat. Command failed successfully. Cat online. Sorry, I mean hi. Okay, so I'll give a I'll give a brief um mechanics overview uh, right now, actually, Dreamy Pants. So, this is a deck building roguelite. We've got some Definitely some solid inspiration and mechanic holdover from Slay the Spire. Um, as we've seen with other games, you've got five cards per turn, three base energy per turn, and just like Spire and the other deck builders, when you run out of cards in the draw pile, you put the discard pile back into the draw pile randomly. So that, that aspect of core deck building is completely identical. Combat is done in ship-to-ship -ship style here. Uh, which adds an aspect of positioning that I think is really cool for this game. Uh, every ship has a hull in red and shield in blue. There, there are cards that can give you more shield, but hull repair is pretty hard to come by. You can think of that as your permanent health. There's also temporary shield, which is shield that only lasts for one turn. Blue shield is retained from turn to turn. Purple shield decays at the end. Just, um... A little bit quieter. Cool. <clears throat> Cards that attack will fire out of a particular location. So when you attack in this game, um, it'll always fire out of whichever one your cannon is, which could be in, depending on the ship you're using, uh, has some variance. Let's see, it's every card, right? After after we play a card. Okay, so I can see how to use this pretty well, actually. Neat. Enemies on their turn will show what they're going to do. Um, each separate component of an enemy ship um, may have a different intent. So some enemies will only attack for, for one thing, but other enemies could be attacking from multiple ship locations. And those all count as a separate intent. Each attack has to be either blocked with shield or we can evade by moving out of the way of the attack entirely. Evasion takes evade charges, which are gained by cards. We do start with one because of our starting um, artifact here. Kind of like Slay the Spire artifacts, these provide passive effects that modify your cards or combat. And likewise, uh, after we take our turn, the enemy is going to fire their shown intents, and then the enemy will reposition too. Our deck is made up of cards from the three characters that are in our crew here. Each run, you can play with three characters from a cast of eight total unlockable. And the color of a card indicates whose deck it belongs to. So Dizzy, our science officer, her, his cards are shielding and, and shield manipulation. All Dizzy's cards are in blue. Riggs is our pilot. Her cards are flexible movement and card draw. Anything in orange is a Riggs card. And then the purple here is Max. His cards enhance and exhaust other cards or may gamble with hand position. Probably shouldn't have actually moved out of the way of this shot. That's okay. Is there any HUD stuff behind me? Yeah, there's the draw, uh, the discard pile, and the exhaust pile, and the end turn button are behind me. It's not too important, though. Similar stuff to what is in Spire in that location. So to win fights, we're going to have to deal damage. The sword icon is uh, damage, which again fires shots out of our weapon. Uh, this ship has a special property, which is that the active cannon and missile bay toggle after each card we play. So we can toggle this cannon active, which is now in line with the enemy ship, allowing us to fire a shot that could hit it. 
But this basic shot will miss, so I'll play Shield Surge and raise our shields again. That was a wasted evade, but that's okay. I think in general, with this crew, we're going to have a hard time damaging enemy ships substantially. Hmm, can admin deploy the scramble? I like that. Hit that thing for two. Again, that toggles the cannon. So if I admin deploy, do we toggle the cannon twice? I gotta know. Yes. We can do this all day. Let's give me a third evasion charge then. Enemy is raising shields. And I think gaining one point of strength. But we have evasion stacked up. Yeah. And again, the problem here, I, with these characters, damage is going to be pretty hard to come by. It's a little concerning. But there's some stuff we can do. Let's get rid of this Corrupted Core card. This will exhaust, so we don't draw that again. Then... Gain two temp shield. No, let's admin deploy the reroll. I don't want reroll again. And then, I guess we'll just basic block. We'll take three damage from the shot, two to the temp shields, one to the real shields. Or I can stack up one more evade. Let's stack up one more evade. Take the hit on the shields. All right, we need to do some damage. If this thing is going to give itself two shields every other turn, we have to have some answers here. So, draw a shot for two damage, definitely. Now the other cannon is active. We can reposition to keep firing here. That might be a good idea. I want to get some damage done. All right, we finally inflicted hull damage. Yeah, some of so Max, some of Max's cards can reorder our hand, um, and there are cards like Admin Deploy, which say play your leftmost card, so that the order of our cards could matter. Fire the draw shot. Then I'm gonna move out of the way. Then basic dodge. Fire another shot into this thing. We want to move out of the way of this four damage attack. That's too much damage. And I can hit it three times if I'm willing to use a fair bit of evasion here. I guess I am. Note that our cockpit is brittle. That's the flashing skull here, by the way. Our cockpit will always have a flashing skull on it. Um, for the entire game, because the cockpit takes double damage from attacks. It's just how it is. Okay, but now I'm seeing the penalty of staying where we were here. I guess we can maybe use draw shot to get scramble. No, we exhausted scramble. Because I cannot move out of the way of this five damage shot. That's the current problem. We have one evade, and I can get one more with the basic dodge, because we're a five-wide ship. Two dodges will not get me out of the way here. So we're definitely going to get shot in the face. I guess we'll shoot them back at minimum here. If I basic block shield surge and move one, then we can avoid getting thrashed completely. We don't. Um, currently, this shot will deal a double damage, which would actually just instantly kill us, but we can also do this. And now if I can land three shots, which I can, I can finish the fight here. Kind of like fighting the Jawworm. That enemy both blocks and scales their strength, so you have to have to be aggressive to uh, take them out. How's it going, Beards and Bacon? First glance of A looks kind of broken. Seems like enough of it would make you kind of invincible unless there are some enemies that counter it. There are a couple of enemies that have mechanics that can limit the usefulness of evasion, but yes, I have found that if you stack a lot of it, you're kind of invincible indeed. Except for the homing missiles. The homing missiles are a huge pain in the ass. But they're easier to deal with if you have a lot of evasion, still. But yeah, that, that one guy with the homing missiles is nasty. Stun. Can't 
cancel the intent of the targeted ship part. Oh, good. EMP. This is really useful against some enemies. This card is, uh, we've described it as basically Vault. What happens is you, uh, there's a lot of icons here that are a little hard to read, but what this card does is remove shield from both combatants and then skip the current turn for both combatants. So everybody loses their shield, the enemy cancels its turn, you skip the remainder of your turn. Given that there's some enemies with quite a bit of shield, uh, EMP can be a massive damage boost at the start of a fight. I really like it. So, we've got a very spire-like map here. Now we choose nodes to go to progress through towards our boss here. Um, and we've got uh, some very familiar options too. Regular fights give you card rewards. Events can be all sorts of different things. Repair nodes, we can upgrade at, or heal at, or remove a card at. Um, elites give us an artifact, another passive bonus, as well as cards. Looks like we have to fight an elite this time. Might as well visit the repair yard then. Really value repair yards quite a bit. Yeah, there's definitely some Slay the Spire inspirations here, 100%. Well, EMP A doesn't doesn't remove your own shield. That's pretty cool, actually. Currently, I think we want to prioritize just upgrading our one damage cards to two damage cards because we are kind of crap at dealing damage currently. We are going to want more card wards to be able to find stuff that deals damage. I like this bottom route. Definitely starting with a fight. Let's go towards the bottom. Yeah, Spire-like is definitely becoming its own subgenre of roguelites. Uh, I think that's quite true. And yes, Mega Crit gave this game a shout out too on their Twitter. Thou art in the presence of Wisbo the Framifigificent. Wow, cool hat. Thank you. We are fighting Wizbo. Who has five shields, so probably we just EMP Wizbo because they lose five shield, we lose one shield. Seems like a good deal to me. This game is super cute. The, I really like the, the writing in this game in particular. The the events kind of remind me of FTL, Faster Than Light, a little bit with their flavor, but they're consistently very funny, which tickles me in all the good ways. Fire the EMP. This enemy is going to give you a status, which cannot be dodged. Be prepared. So statuses are fun, right? Statuses are fun. Okay. Oh, we're back. So, <laughs> Wizbo stole the stream and Max is what happened. That was really appropriate timing, actually. So, what did Wizbo do? Wizbo took Max. Max is missing. This card's owner is missing. Play it to return them. We also got some statuses. Start with Scramble. Max is missing. The next Max card you play does nothing. This is the status we have. That's very cool, actually. I 
take the basic shot or do I bring Max back? Um, I think Max being gone is mostly fine. Although the two temp shield could be okay. On target. Moving out of the way, by the way. And let's play this Miasma so I don't draw it again. This gives me two heat. That's no problem. And it toggles our cannon. All right. Ooh. Here comes magic move. Minus one corrode when played. Okay, I was like really worried. <laughs> if I have one corrode, we're completely screwed here. But no, we can just remove it. Okay, get rid of that. That's horrifying. Uh, I guess we just shoot him twice more, because the more statuses we get, the worse this is going to become for us. Oh, there's a gap there. I just realized. I should have played dodge then. Alright, we got another toxic card. Another good time for scramble. Scramble and raw shot. Dizzy is also missing. What happens if everybody, everybody is missing? Doesn't matter. Riggs has this. Oh, shoot. Right. Okay, that's not good. I was hoping to play Scramble. Uh, I guess we'll play Toxic now. Use all three evade to get out of the way. I could rather take one damage. This looks like a spooky fight. Another miasma too. Hmm. Concerning. Was this just our, this was just our uh, regular combat node, right? It wasn't even an event. Interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm just going to take one whole damage here. We've got whole to spare. Okay, I think we want to go for the kill here. back, Dizzy. Dizzy is back. Another toxic. Okay, draw shot is all we need. So basic dodge, toggles the cannon, draw shot, should finish the fight here. Okay, we took one whole damage. An acceptable loss. Ah, Math.Max is back, the insanely powerful card draw card. Some interesting stuff we could do with that if we got a couple of upgrades. I quite like momentum here. Gain one shield plus one more shield each time you've played it this combat. Another shield surge ain't bad either. Is there a max hand size? Yeah, 10 is the max. How's it going, Papa? I want momentum. Not sure we'll be able to survive these two nodes, but we'll see. Getting an upgraded card will help. I think we're going block shot A. Yeah, block shot A turns it into two damage, one real shield, instead of one temp shield. That's a, a nice upgrade. We need that additional damage. Quite badly. Meowdy! Not in front of everyone, please. Still offered the chance to fight Cleo. We'll try that at some point, but not on this run. Need the repair, remove, or upgrade. We're gonna upgrade, like we said. Block shot A. All right, this is a more ordinary drone. 
It's got a missile bay with armor. The middle portion takes less damage from attacks. Oh man, we can admin deploy the EMP. That's kind of neat. So let's do basic shot, basic shot, admin deploy. Cancel their turn. Just start the fight with two damage. They don't have any shield. We'll lose our shield, but we still skip their turn for one energy. I think that's worth it. Tuggling cannons is to our disadvantage here, unfortunately. I guess we might as well use block shots. Can't play any of those anyway. Yeah, just use block shot, basic block here. Build some block. That is a heavy missile. If that hits our ship, it'll fly forward in the column at the end of the turn. And if it hits our ship, it will deal three damage. Or we could, you know, just move out of the way. That's also allowed. I think scramble is a bad idea, as it could put us right in the path of the missile. Admin deploy is a better version of Havoc, it seems. Pretty cool. Do something like basic dodge, reroll, shield surge. Go up to four full shield here. Or we could actually get rid of corrupted core instead of using the reroll. So we're only saving one shield. Get rid of this. If we admin deploy a basic shot, not only will we fire the shot, um, but we'll toggle the cannon twice, so we have a cannon back in position again. Oh right, but it toggles before firing the cannon. I'm glad that lined up properly. I didn't quite realize that would work that way. I'm going to take this hit to get more damage done. Also, I can't really move here to dodge the three damage. Now we can finish them. To the face. Not too bad. Juke. Move randomly three spaces. Big shield or evasive shot. Both of these upgrade to two. I do like evasive shot. Uh, map. There's map. Evasive shot's another good upgrade. Juke is just nice at zero cost. Pretty hard to gain energy in this game compared to, uh, say, Slay the Spire. So having energy efficiency in the deck is pretty valuable. Do you keep shield for next fight? No, shield does not carry over unless you have a certain artifact. And then you can keep it. We always start combat with one shield thanks to warp prep. Take Juke. Question is, how do we handle the elite here? What's up, nerds? Trying to save the universe, I think. How tedious. Fight Drake in the asteroid field. Drake has four shield, which makes him a good EMP target here on turn one. I think we'll just do that. There's no real reason to play Juke. Other than the fact that his cannons are lined up with our cockpit for next round.
That's fine. Probably don't want to admin deploy exhaust uh, momentum, but we could get it on uh, shield surge. This looks like we can temp block quite a bit. We'll have to use one evade to avoid getting hit for two in the face here. Let's move like this. We could use the remaining two evade to get out of the way completely, but I think it's more efficient to raise the shields here. Let's definitely play momentum. Let's use admin deploy to get rid of another card. I guess it's going to be shield surge, because I want to play reroll. I don't have to. It's kind of equivalent to play both of these. So I could shield surge, admin deploy, get rid of basic block. That sounds better. Then we don't draw basic block again. Oh, that added heat, huh? Rude. That's right. He applies the heat status, and if heat goes to three, we'll take whole damage. How rude. Juke him. And then build up some dodge. Okay, he's just uh, doing his thing over there. I'd like to line up a block shot that can hit. Let's see if Scramble puts us in the correct direction. It did. Cool. Should do reroll basic shot juke. And then let's lose this corrupted core. Don't draw that again. He's at five hole, right? Yeah, so if we just move into position and unload all of our damage, we can kill right now. GG. Dice roll. Uh, discard two random cards. Attack for one. This card is not discarded when played. Curious. There's also Echo. Search your discard pile, move a card to the top of the draw pile. Upgrades to go to your hand instead. Interesting. Ship seems to only have drawbacks? Well, I think with the current crew, it's mostly drawbacks. But the alternating drone bays would be really good with anybody who is drone specialist. Um, with Isaac, that is. And if we can find anything that utilizes our missile bays, uh, I think it'll be pretty good, actually. It also gives us flexibility in terms of where we attack. Ooh, this upgrades to two damage, zero cost, reusable. Freaking give me that, man. Energy refund. Gain an energy every time you spend three plus energy playing a card. So we could, for example, get one energy back after playing EMP. Hmm. Hmm. That's completely useless. What about this one? Your first attack each turn pierces, ignoring shields and armor. Not that helpful either. But it's not not helpful. Actually, along with EMP, I do like that. Because that means we can deal meat damage meaningfully against high shield enemies before drawing the EMP. So let's take the piercer. As our artifact here. We also get another artifact in the middle of the act here. The Jettison Hatch. At Repair Yards, we may remove two cards instead of one. We've seen this before. This is great to get early on. Um, why don't we go to a Repair Yard and remove two right away? 
We should get rid of some of the basic junk here. We don't need basic block as we have much better block options. And I think we have too many basic shots. Let's lose one basic shot also. We're trying to draw a block shot, draw shot. Dice roll is our damage sources. Remove two cards. This. This. Hope you didn't need those. Fear not, I didn't. Okay, so this is the current set of cards. I think this will be okay for a little bit longer. You ever notice there's a lot of robots around here? Yeah, what about them? The civilization that built them, it died out long before any of us got here. All these ancient war machines built to protect things long gone. I feel like we're trespassing. Wow. Yeah. Anyway, point is, I already feel bad, so I won't feel worse if I rob you. Ah. And look at this. Six hole, 16 shield. Guess who's going to get absolutely wrecked? This nerd. It's also got two weak components on the ship. With our piercing attacks, this should be very easy to just... Um kill him through his shield here. Whenever the ship is hit, it immediately shoots a two damage attack. Interesting. one piercing damage if we want to. Sure. To your face, sir. And just like that, they're dead. That's the power of the piercer. Cool. Choose a card in your draw pile, put it into your hand. It's Seek. It is Seek. Upgrades to two cards. Or choose from draw or discard pile is the other option. Pulse Barrier. Raise your shield capacity. That's kind of cool. Uh, comboing with momentum to make our max shields even higher. I think I want the Selective Memory, though. Selective Memory to draw the EMP is quite nice. Our options here, Adaptive Plating. Gain one max hull and heal one every time we defeat a boss or elite. That's not too bad. This is early enough for Adaptive Plating to be good. Or the Grazer Beam. Every time an attack misses the enemy by exactly one space, the enemy takes one damage. There's a lot of good ways to use that. That we have seen. And that could help uh, mitigate the, the weird shape of this ship. Let's take the Grazer Beam. Meowdy! Let's see, is it removed two time, or do we want to upgrade a card here? I think I want Dice Roll A. Is what I want. Seems like a very strong offensive option here. Neat! And now our boss. I believe the boss of Act 1 is always the crystalline entity. These crystals, I have a theory about them, but it's kind of stupid. Go ahead. I think they're sort of like the time loops immune system? Like we're nasty little germs that broke space-time, and it's trying to get rid of us. Interesting, what data do you have to support this? None. I see. So here's an example of an enemy that can be a little bit harder to avoid damage from simply by evading, because this thing is quite wide and can attack from a lot of different parts at the same time.
It's also got a ton of hull here. What, 34? Yeah, 34 hull. This is unfortunately not a fight where the EMP does a whole lot for us. So I think we should focus on other stuff here. That's a good move. Save some dodge up. With two temp shield, even taking a hit to the cockpit here is no problem. Toggle our cannon, I guess. No cards in the draw pile, which makes selective memory crap unless I play draw shot first. Basic shot still does one damage from this position. Let's see. I have to move three over to completely avoid this damage. Maybe we just want shield surge. Take some of it here. It'll be three damage. That's fine. Go down to one shield. Moving over further doesn't decrease the damage, actually. Let's just build up some more evade. Hmm. Juke him. All right, well, that puts me in good firing position. Maybe not good... not dying position. I guess uh, block shot, draw shot, reroller is fine here. Or if we uh, get momentum instead of reroll, that's even better. So we'll lose all our shield, but we're picking away at it. We still have a bait built up. I think that's good. I don't see, again, either a left or right move that's that good. This is a bit better. Three damage, we can block three. So I can block shot, reroll basic shot, or block shot, reroll, get rid of corrupted core. I think avoiding redrawing this over and over is probably a good idea. And it's momentum that's going to keep us in this fight without having to use too much dodge. Shields up. Is it just me or is this getting worse? Terrifying. Hopefully we have a lot of dodge. I'm going to move somewhere. This feels like it's not a good place to be, though. Hmm. Scramble time? Seems like scramble time to me. Okay, we're back over here. But I have six dodge, so let's get uh, somewhere else, huh? Hey, dice roll stuck around, too. Look at that, four damage for zero energy. Currently taking three. If I move over one more, I take two on the cockpit. If I move over two more, I take one. We're about to draw back into momentum, so I'm fine here. Can't 
Gain four shield. Let's get rid of shield surge, I guess. Uh, we'd rather basic shot, right? Oh yeah, now we can get rid of basic shot. Still does one. Gain five shields. Of course, the maximum is four, so there is that. I wonder how it determines what it's going to shoot for on each action. Basic shot, dice roll, re-roll dice roll. Yeah, that dice roll card is really good for damage. And the more cards we can get into our hand, the more damage we can deal with it. roll. GG. That went well. We get repaired to max hull, and we get one max hull as well. On lower difficulties, you'll get uh, two max hull after beating a boss. And we can choose a rare card. Think twice. Discard all of your cards and draw five. Clean exhaust. For the rest of combat, all exhaust and single-use cards are free. Cool with EMP, but probably not worth it alone. And total cash wipe, we've seen this before. Um, exhaust your entire hand, gain block and do damage equal to the number of cards you had in your hand. How's it going, uh, Mazanaka? Would I recommend this game if the main criteria is replayability and balance? So far, the balance looks pretty good, um, but I, I do wonder at the replayability of this game at large. Uh, I think the biggest biggest limiting factors so far are that you fight the same bosses on each run. So once you're familiar with the bosses and their patterns, I think it'll get a little bit repetitive. Um, that was somewhat the weak point of Hades, too. Um, So far, I've been able to prevail with a whole bunch of different strategies and crew members. So it does seem like there's a lot of viable options. We have definitely seen some of the same artifacts over and over. The save file says we've only seen 27 out of 87 different artifacts in the game. So there should be a whole bunch of different ones to keep finding. Twice looks good. It can be upgraded to draw seven or to not exhaust, but I don't like the downgrade on this. I think I'll think, I think, I'll take a think twice, probably. Let's grab that. And then we get to choose boss artifacts. Some are generic boss artifacts. Oh, here's the Gemini Core booster. Failey was talking about this. Requires a Gemini Core. Your left cannon does one more damage. The right cannon stuns. Are cards memorable like Inspire? I think so, Geeky Do. There's uh, there's a whole bunch of different interesting strategies you can use, and there are some direct analogs to some of the cool cards from Spire. For example, there's a a feed card that can raise your max HP, and then there's a card that deals damage based on how much HP you're missing. So you can combine those to make a really broken attack. Um, the support character can crank out tons of drones or asteroids. You could just mass produce things to go in the middle row and then give them shields. Max can form infinite combos with his cards. I, I've, I've pretty happy with the card design overall. 
Prototype 22. Gain one max shield on pickup. Gain one shield at the start of every turn. But if your shield is full, take two hull damage. It's a little spooky. Light speed boot disc. On the first turn of battle, draw one card, gain one energy. On pickup, choose a card to start in your opening hand. Buoyant, meaning innate. Let's see. Anything I would really want to start with. We could buoyancy the EMP. But with piercing attacks, I don't think that's that important, actually. We could start with a draw five. Then play the other cards. That's an interesting option, too. I'm thinking about the Gemini Core Booster. Let's take Gemini Core Booster. Who the heck are you? Whoa, nice job! Who, who the heck are you? I'm Books. I've been watching you guys blow this crystal up over and over. These shards that get left behind. Did you know they survive the time loops? Interesting. After you guys leave, I gather up all the shiniest ones. Did you know they taste blue? Blue, huh? Yeah. Well, I guess we better leave you to it. Bye. Interesting. The story unfolds. So this cannon does more damage, this cannon stuns. Risk it for the biscuit here. Dang it. Biscuit risked wastefully. Basic shot, dice roll, do one damage, move out of the way, that's fine. Is that it? It is. Draw a shot for three with piercing. And I want this to stun. Just think twice. Block shot, basic shot here. Yeah, I like the Gemini cannon. Shots is really strong. Prepare A. Next turn, draw four additional cards and gain two additional energy. That's an upgraded card. These uh, other ones aren't upgraded. Add a temporary worm to your discard pile. Which does the same thing. Curious. Ooh, two repair yards and two elites on this path up here. Seems really good. We don't get that many card rewards, but we can remove cards like crazy, which I think is really valuable. I'm, I'm hoping to start to build this around the dice roll card. And lots of card draw. And prepare is a good way to get that card draw, especially if we can start chaining prepare, use prepare to draw the next prepare and use the energy from prepare to play prepare again. That's gonna be great. I'm down to admin deploy scramble here. Let's see. Let's 
right. This is the ship that gains armor when you shoot it. So you're encouraged to shoot it in different locations. This is also an enemy against whom the Gemini cannon is a natural upside, since you don't want to shoot the same location repeatedly. I'm not sure I wanted to be here, you know? Actually, who am I kidding? Yes, I did. I can just stun you like crazy. Enjoy your own mine. You can just prepare. So now we can use prepare to play prepare again. It's perfect. Space mine will block a shot. Whoever shoots it takes more damage. So pro tip, don't do that. Bang! Haha. -ha. Right now this location is armored, so I don't really want to shoot it again. Probably want to move over one again. Although we're also hitting the shield here. I'd rather just play EMP to remove all that shield next turn, yeah? So we should do things that don't give us shield. So let's play um, Corrupted Core Basic Dodge. And then we can do Prepare EMP. Oh yeah, this is crazy. Uh, we can actually do Prepare... No, I could, I could do Dice Roll before EMP with piercing, but it's going to risk discarding the EMP. Although, with only three shield, maybe it's worth the risk here. Either way, start with prepare. This will stun, too. Okay, so we can still EMP if we want. I think I do want... Yeah, this is really strong now. Got dice roll back again. I think I can kill it now. GG. How's it going, Metafusion? This game, yes, has definitely some similarities to Slay the Spire. You choose a path on a map in a very similar fashion. You're building a deck to fight enemies in a similar fashion, except you are playing a cutesy crew of three in a spaceship rather than an adventurer climbing an infinitely tall tower. I'll take another dice roll A, by the way. Yeah, second dice roll A. I quite like this. That way, if I have two in hand, I'm much less likely to discard both of them so we can keep the attack chain going for longer. Even more reason to remove some basic cards now. Lose both of these basic shots. Two for the price of one. That's right. Uh-oh, it's the Rogue Starnacle. Glorp, indeed. This thing is quite a weird enemy. No shield on this thing. Makes EMP kind of bad. This is not a great turn one. Just might move this way, it's not a big deal. And we can stun with the Gemini Cannon. Okay, this is fine then. Get rid of Corrupted Core, rather than playing Think Twice. I could shoot at it a bit if I wanted to. 
I can't play Prepare, so yeah, let's just play um, Corrupted Core, get rid of that card. Get an Abyssal Visions. This is also a semi-random enemy. I've, th I've seen this guy lead with just the charging cannon attack before. Hmm, we have no evasion here. It's a little concerning. I'll take one whole damage currently. I guess I can't do much about that. Might as well play prepare and then dice roll, dice roll, or whatever. I oh, can't. Can't even do that. Ouch. All right. This is the version that's easier to deal with. All we have to do is shoot the main gun with our Gemini cannon here. Currently, I'm having some difficulty positioning myself. Yeah, it also makes the, the tentacle brittle, so we can hit it for quite a bit of damage. Although, if I want to stun it, um, I won't be able to do that much damage. But that's the other option, is to reposition the other way and just sink a ton of damage into it. We can select a memory to get one of our dice rolls into hand, and I can play the prepare. Might as well play momentum, too. And then once again. Whoops. Okay, we got dice roll back. We can scramble out of the way. into the way, maybe. Let's prepare in basic dodge, actually. Ship gets a lot done now. Whoa! And we're being very aggro, I see. Except I can probably deal 8 damage to you without too much difficulty here. Although not if you are shielded behind that. It has no shell. Oh, I see. The shell is gone. Well, that's cute. Well, we're here now. work a lot better if I had some damage in my hands. Now moving two to the left or right is a good thing. Lots of positioning power. Now we're talking. We 
roll dice roll kills. Actually, just dice roll kills. GG. That's right, you have to be able to play cards in order to move. Movement is indicated by the evade um, resource, which can only be acquired from cards and artifacts. Another prepare. Hmm. Be prepared. Whenever you move, move further. I think evasive shot could be really nice. To evade, it's a one time thing. Yeah, prepare B could also be really good. Makes more energy than you spend on it. Uh, and I could I could see having both prepares at the same time being very strong. But upgrades are pretty valuable. Be hard to come by at the point at this point. Happy with these. Not quite. Let's skip these. Every time you heal, heal for one more, or all enemy cockpits are weak, taking one more damage from all attacks. I want this. Make them weak. Salutations! Give me. Is it time for more upgrades? Scramble B already. Momentum's doing okay as it is. So we can either upgrade Think Twice or we can purge two more cards. I would get rid of Shield Surge. Hmm. Don't want to lose basic dodge. Maybe upgrade this to zero cost. That's kind of nice. Yeah, we'll upgrade the thing twice. At the start of combat, gain temporary shield equal to your missing hull. It's kind of neat. Take another elite here. You also get an event. We're getting a weird emergency signal. Oh, great. I have, we haven't seen this event yet. It says a friendly ship is under attack by themselves. Hello? Is this thing on? I made a big old mistake. My missiles, please help. What's the worst that could happen? So do we help him? Enter combat? Soggins is a very cool ship. Please don't shoot, I'm not hostile, he says. The ship missiles and drones will launch backwards. He's going to shoot missiles at himself for six turns, although maybe it's only five turns if I use the EMP. Let's prepare. I don't want to shoot you, sir. Blue Smoke Instrumental says, this event killed me with a shield prototype because you couldn't take the damage required. That's brutal, man. Yeah, using our stun shots actually could help quite a bit here, right? Is it worth dealing one damage to stun a component here? Not yet. So, he shoots three missiles that are now facing him. I'm trying to turn it off. Hold on. Good luck to you, buddy. So, we want Soggins to not perish, I believe. And that means we're going to want to shoot these missiles to kill them.
I guess he's going to shoot these three each turn. Oh, I see. That's going to cause some problems. Actually, mostly these are going to miss him now, so that's fine. Um, and we can EMP to prevent the next turn. Missile to the face, Uggins. Sorry about that. Sorry about your face. Not sorry about your face. So it looks like the third one is the one that launches the EMP. We should use Block Shot to stop that one, then. In fact, we can stun your other stuff, too, right? One's, the middle's weak, so I don't really want to shoot too much stuff here. Block shot too good. Okay, that should be enough to save him. We don't need to prevent every missile from hitting him. Just need to make sure he's uh, full health at the end of the fight, I believe. Looks like he's going to take a lot to the face here, unfortunately. Don't have a lot for you, my friend. Boom. The enemy ship is going to escape. I fixed it. Wait, no, I'm just out of missiles. <laughs> Good job, Suggins. You did it. Bye. Hey, I'm alive. I can't thank you enough, so I won't. Okay, fine. I offer you one treat. This hard drive I found earlier. Missile malware. By a piercing attack, cause this enemy's sh missiles and drones to launch backwards for one turn. My precious seeker missiles. Launch a seeker missile that deals two damage from the missile bay. Or an artifact. Missile malware seems pretty cool. There's a couple fights that use missiles, including the final boss. And our sector boss, too, actually. This will be useful in both boss fights. Yeah, now I believe this card applies to the enemy. Since it's an attack that you shoot at them. Can't see upgrades from here, no. Yeah, give me the, the missile malware. That sounds fun. All yours! So, can we upgrade this card? Yes. Missile Malware B doesn't exhaust. Applies it to the enemy wherever they are, so you don't actually have to hit them. Odd. Yeah, we have to try this card out. Needs to be upgraded to B to give it to the enemy. We'll see about that. Hmm, maybe we should stick to enemies that have cockpits? <laughs> Dang it. No cockpit, no bonus damage. Understood. Understood.
That applies to the enemy. That's what I thought. Can we maybe not trust the hardware the frog gave us? Do we have to? Prepare yourself for boarding. Like that. All right, good talk. Five. Easy. Yeah, ship's working a lot better with the Gemini cannon. Vamoose. Move randomly three, evade four. I like that. This is also an upgraded card. Alternately, math.max might be the card we need to make the dice rolls really broken because these can fill our hand size. They give less draw next turn. Um, but that's no problem, because Math Max B is zero cost, draw 10, draw one less next turn, gain one energy next turn, which combos perfectly with Prepare. Let's take Math Max and upgrade it. Although Vamoose is pretty strong. Sticky note. Choose a card in your deck that does not have retain. It gains retain. Or for every three dizzy cards played, gain a shield. We want to retain. We want to retain either think twice or prepare, maybe. Seems a bit weird with the dice roll, though. That's certainly true. We could retain the dice roll. Get the sticky note. Let's sticky think twice. And we're going to upgrade Math Max. To the B variant. Minus one draw, minus one energy, the turn after we play it. It's also zero cost immediately. So we can take full advantage of the nonsense. Back for more. What do you mean? We beat you last time. You did? Actually, I don't remember. Me neither. <laughs> you did? Target acquired. See, so yeah, we can just do prepare Math Max. Seems good. Two-wide cockpit means we've got lots of weak points to shoot at here. I like it. Note the triple missile bays. Good. I was a little worried we wouldn't actually get it. Now we just go crazy with dice roll here? Definitely. We should move over one to take much less damage. Well, not that much less damage. Fair enough. Fetch dice roll, too, if I want to. To do some even more damage this turn. Let's do it. Not that much more. 
took out basically all of her shield, though. We redrew our math max, too. So, they're about to launch three things out of the missile bay. Let's hit them with missile malware and tell them uh, why that's a bad idea. Although that means I don't want to put shots into this location. I should probably scramble then. Surge dice roll. Think twice. Okay, is Juke worth it? Juking this way is good. Juking. I go one, two, three. Take two here and one on the side. So yeah, juke either way is fine. This is good. Alright, good turn. Enjoy your missiles. Take six damage from your own missiles. Actually, it's going to be seven, because this hits the weak cockpit. We're already almost killed, actually. I like it. G-Nerd. Boom. We wrecked that boss. It was only three turns, right? This deck is working really well. Mitosis. The start of your turn, lose one shield and gain twice as much temp shield. Now that's what you combo with the auto shield charger artifact. Another selective memory or hand cannon. Attack for an amount equal to the amount of other cards in your hand for two cost. Whoa. Upgrades to 2x. This could do 18 damage. Hell yes. Ah, the Demon Thrusters. Those are one of my favorite uh, artifacts. Let's see what the other options are. Flywheel. Oh, this is very good too. Every tenth time you draw a card... Gain one energy. Guess what we're doing a lot of. Prototype 22. Hey, we... Oh, you can see the same artifact multiple times in a run. That's interesting. Neat. Or the Demon Thrusters. Gain one evade every turn, but we can't stack more than three evade at a, t at a time. The auto-dodge on Demon Thrusters is really cool, but that extra energy from card draw is going to be ridiculous. So give me Flywheel here. That does account for your base 5 draw per turn, too. So we're going to be able to do some ridiculous stuff. I mean, Math Max is instantly plus 1 energy. Praise the Sundial. Cicada Drone Mark III. No jump start needed. Are you sure about that? YOLO. Dang it. That's fine, actually. Uh, we should do Shield Surge Momentum Dice Roll, probably. Yeah. You have no missiles. I 
This EMP is fine. Or prepare is fine too. Need block to avoid getting wrecked though. Let's do basic dodge EMP. Too. Good. Boom. This deck is awesome. We can get another math dot max too. Don't even have to upgrade that one. I think we just want it, right? Although the next turn minus draw could be brutal if we use it improperly. You don't exhaust. Yeah, we just want to cycle these. And let's go for two more elites, because I think we want to see lots of artifacts, because that's working our way towards the next um, ship unlock, too. I agree. It feels like we're pretty close to an infinite here. Bet you won't let us shuffle all your ship parts. Actually, that seems awesome on the Gemini. Please do. Oh, I love it. The cannons are now next to each other, and the missile bays are too. This is a really cool Gemini configuration. I knew you were cool. How is this better? Don't ask that cat. You know how it's better. Now we have consistency of aiming. Yeah, no kidding. I was worried this crew would be lacking damage. Um, I guess that my concerns were ill-founded. Guess we lose admin deploy, shield surge. What a deal! Maybe we can think about fighting if we're if we're truly doing proper infinites. Wouldn't trust it though. Aquatic life form. Notably, this enemy attacks from empty locations and therefore cannot be stunned. What a jerk. Hmm, I don't feel like I don't want to be here. Just a hunch. Cannon is on the left side now. This is the left. This is the right cannon, and this is the left cannon. <laughs> That's definitely not confusing. Amazing. Absolutely amazing.
Juke him. I should think twice about juking them. Right? No, I didn't think so. Doesn't stun them. This has a card, right? Let's just miss. Prepare yourself. Her blap. Another dice roll A. I don't need another dice roll A. Nor do I need a retaining block card. Let's skip him. Let's find an unusually strong enemy. Oh, this guy. This guy lets you set up a little bit. This enemy... This is one of the fights where your evasion is restricted. There's a limit to how far left or right you can move, because there are walls here. But kind of like a sleeping Lagavulin, this enemy will sleep for a bit. So we can set up with prepare here. Get scramble into play and such. Not sure how many turns this thing will sleep for. Fire! We just overcome the downsides of playing the other cards. Easy peasy. Excellent. Now, this does tremendous damage. Wake up is on turn two. Got it. Duly noted. Noise. Well, in hand, all cards exhaust. That could be to your advantage or to your detriment, depending on how you want to use it. You are pretty close to uh, a true infinite combo, though, yeah? Draw two extra cards on turn one. Oh, yeah. That's what I want. Quick draw. And a safety lock. Choose a card with exhaust in your deck. It no longer exhausts. You what? Think twice can be permanent. Okay.
Now it has retain? Oh yeah, I already gave it retain, that's right. Retain, don't exhaust. That's pretty absurd. That's pretty absurd. The Rusting Colossus. This enemy has a ton of health, but takes damage over time. So you just have to survive. Sort of. Just more accurately, surviving is one option available to you. She stunned that with the missile bay. Don't want to do that. That would not be helpful. Six energy this turn. Seems good. Not so beautiful, actually. Should have thought about that a little differently. It's gonna hurt. Got overzealous here without uh, mobility in place. Uh, let's see, this stuns though, right? Not enough for me to actually do anything anymore. I got complacent here. It's having too much fun. Well, that's not good. What, nine incoming? That's almost gonna kill me. Does this game feel after more playing? Fun! A little on the easy side, but definitely fun. Yeah, I'm gonna have to lose most of my hull here. That sucks. Should not have played uh, my dice roll there. I need to just draw into Juke or EMP here. So we can move out of the five, but we're still taking nine this way. It's not good. I'll take six hull damage, go to two. I really don't like that. What can you do? Alright, let's not get murdered here. Better. Can't really do damage now. Now we're talking.
GG. Enrage. Give the enemy strength, but then stun them. Interesting. Or payback. Whenever this ship is hit, it immediately shoots a one damage attack. There's the shield memory. Your shield lasts between combats. Or stun calibrator. After your first attack each turn, gain one stun charge. Giving us more options for stunning. I like that quite a bit. Hello, drill man. Also, we get a ton of temp shield on turn one because of our one of our other artifacts now that we're missing a bunch of hull. So I guess it's not all bad. Titan Cannon! Kerblam. Raise our max shield is kind of whatever. Return an exhausted card to your hand. I like that for the final boss fight, actually. Turn two or zero cost. Yeah, common exhume. That's kind of cool. It's a lot of really good common cards in this game, from what I've seen. Second juke is not a bad idea. I'll grab that. I like zero cost cards right now. And we can heal or upgrade or remove two at uh, the final node. We could also fight him. But I don't think we're quite a match for Cleo here, based on what I've heard. Although we will be doing this at some point. Let's see, it's repair four, huh? That would be a nice margin of error for the final battle. Let's do that. Repair is complete. Do you think you could ever take a full control of the Cobalt? No. After I up my, upload myself, I only have a few milliseconds to override the nav system and bring it out to fight. What happens after that? The mainframe's antivirus process destroys me. Does that hurt? Yep. See you next time. Oh. Poor cat. We've got options, says Rig. We sure do. I have basically nothing but card draw and movement in my hand, which is awesome. So this is our final battle, the Cobalt. The center of it is a weak point, the cannon. There's no cockpit on this thing. Notably, no cockpit on the final boss. And then the side cannons can be stunned easily. Using our stun shots, we, alternating cannons, we should be able to sit in the middle of this thing pretty safely. 
Although we, we'll be exposed to the Missile Bay. Okay, I'm over here now. I keep saying we should just leave. This is a great strategy. <laughs> yeah, the again, the writing in this game continues to really impress me. Like, with how reactive they are to certain things happening on the battle. Now we're thinking outside the box. <laughs> That's great. This is a really bad time for it. Wait, it has, it has 15 shield, actually. You should just delete that shield. Alright, forget your shield. Me too. Good talk. Play the wrong location here. Genjukas. <laughs> we should just leave. Here's where I don't like having the cannons on the one side of the ship. not exhaust. Plus seven cards next turn. Whoop. Convenient. All right, we're mostly where we want to be with the cannons and such. Just want to dodge one, move over, and then fire, fire. Should work. Block shot for guaranteed here. Excellent. Get rid of one of these corrupted cores, then dice roll. Good. Then gain two shield, then think twice. It's going to launch missiles, so it's a good time for missile malware. Don't have any evasion. This is an okay place to be, though. Oh, the heavy missile's going straight for the cannon. Good. Again, six energy and a lot of cards this turn. Let's see, if I scramble, we're going to end up right in the middle of this thing, which I don't think we want to be in. Although, I only want to 
I'll move over a little bit here. I guess we'll scramble first. Okay, perfect. This is a fine location. Let's focus on dishing out some more damage here. for juking here. Boom! Missile to the face! Boom! Hand cannon to the face! Dice roll to the face. GG. This crew was awesome, actually. This was a great run. You are growing stronger. Max. Actually, we got one memory off Max already, right? Let's start doing Dizzy's memories. I've been doing some reading. You know, in my free time between the eternities and a timeless void. I saw. The cobalt, the time crystal embedded in the core. That's you, right? It was. So then the core, it was like an egg? Egg, seed, sentient singularity. You do not have a perfect word for it. Egg, got it. Oh, we're actually missing the first memory on Riggs and Perry. We'll have to get those. T minus 137 days. I, um, cast fireball on my own sword? The sword erupts in an extremely cool blaze of flame. Your goblin attackers step back, filled with a terrible fear. A type of fear that makes them take an additional 50% damage from your next attack. Nice, I, um, hold the sword to the sky and cast Mighty Yell. What do you yell exactly? I yell, um, I'm gonna get your butts with my cool flaming sword. Ha! The damage boost goes up to 60%. Yes! Hey, what are you guys playing? Chess. Can I play? Good memory. Very insightful as to how the time loop occurred. I will get your butts with a cool sword. GG. That was an excellent little foray into space and I am more than happy to do another one here. Let's take a look at oh we're at 41 that means we have another ship to try out. We've seen almost half the artifacts now thanks to Max we haven't even seen half the cards either by the way we unlocked the Jupiter a comms vessel with no cannons of its own. It launches special Jupiter drones which channel its attack very cool. I'm pretty much done with Into the Breach, Spirit Sparrow. I do not have any plans to return to that at, at this time. Jupiter. Jupiter's moons. Launch a Jupiter drone from the Missile Bay. Every time you attack, this drone copies the attack. That seems very strong. We're definitely going to do a run with Isaac on the, the Jupiter ship. Let's do Isaac, Riggs, and Perry. Because we haven't done... I think Perry with the Jupiter drone is going to be really good. Struggles if you can't keep the drones up, I bet. Definitely bet. Yeah. 
and a dad joke for the crowd, courtesy of Skywings. Why should you never let an FTL engine tech install the door frames of your ship? Because they'll all be warped. All right, Twitch chat, I'll be back in a few minutes here. When I return, we're going to do another run of Cobalt Core. Be right back, everybody.
Hey, hey, everybody. How y'all doing? Twinge, thank you so much for the cozy raid. Welcome on in, everybody, from Twinge's channel. Have been enjoying the ever-loving heck out of Cobalt Core here. One part deck builder, one part space combat. Hopefully the, the Twinge viewers are familiar with the basic premise of this one. Still working our way through unlocking all of the ships and crews here. We gotta get 10 wins to get the last ship unlocked. Our next run's gonna be with the Jupiter. Got a detached wing, that's kind of interesting. The weak point on the, oh, the comms are weak point. Um, cockpit's also gonna be a weak point, so we'll have two weak points. Actually, one weak point, one brittle point, technically. The missile bay and the other wing are normally, this might be hard to protect. But that's where having the drone hub is going to help. Let's see how this goes. To get all the lore, you need to do, I think, 18 successful wins, Frinkle Star. There are three memories to unlock per crew member, or it might be even more for the other crew. Not sure. Max shield is different for different ships, apparently. Interesting. Let's lose max hull again and see how this goes. It's not very much max hull. Ooh, two random cards to type A. Hmm. Yeah, that'd be attack drone mark two. Yeah, give me two random upgrades to type A. Basic, basic shift A. One, zero, one drone shift for zero cost, one shield for zero cost. I like that. Oof. Cryo sleep migraine. Computer, tea, boba, cold. Ice and sweetness levels? Whoa, that worked. 50% ice, 200% sweet. Sounds great. Go make it yourself. Aw. <laughs> so yes, we have two points on the ship that will take bonus damage. And the Jupiter's Moon card can be replayed. Hmm. Interesting. No cannons or drones to channel this attack. We could do this all day. So now I can have the drone take a shot. Yes, we do get another Jupiter's Moon. So now they'll both fire, right? So we move, they both shoot one. Is that how that works? Yes, we move, they stay the same, and shoot. Oh, that's cool, actually. More moons. This seems like the best thing ever. Get wrecked. So what I'm thinking here is that this ship's ability to multiply its attacks combined with Perry's strong attack cards is going to equal extremely dead enemies. Max of one elite this time. That's okay. Hello, dearies. What brings you to Grandma's Bakery and Weapons Market today? Carrot cake! One random rare card, or trash a card. Give me the random rare. Perry. Perry's Perry. 
Attack for damage equal to the total damage of the enemy's cannon attacks. That might be a winner here. Upgrades to retain. Spoon with 22 months in the prime sub. Any dome keeper in the plans? Yeah, we might do some dome keeper after the cobalt core today. Got hit for 12 by drawing that card once. Oh man. Wizbo's back. What is up, my Wizbo? I'm over here. I cast Spill Your Drink! No! Not my tea. Give me the old multi-blast. So far, would I be inclined to recommend this game? Definitely. I really enjoy this. Harry is missing. M -m -m multi shot. Boom. Oh, charge beam is also very strong. Each time this card is drawn, increase the damage of the charge beam. So it's a powerful one time use attack, which we can multiply. Excellent. You're too easy to find. That's all he says. Don't have a lot in terms of uh, defense, though, huh? Hmm. That's a little concerning, actually. Move over one, and I'm only taking two. We might want to use multi blast, that'll deal eight. Gets us. Pretty well started on winning here. Do you take one whole damage? That's my other option. You can deploy an attack drone in the way, maybe? Not really. No, this will have to do. Take one. For six. 
or if I deploy Jupiter's moons and then multi-shot will deal much more than that. Lunge. Pew pewed. Yeah, the upgrade, the power potential is enormous. Whenever the ship attacks, it gains one temp shield. I wonder if that works the way that I want it to. Table flip makes all your flippable cards flippable. That's pretty sweet. All your directional cards flippable. I think it doesn't? Let's find out. Every time your discard pile is shuffled back into the draw pile, gain one evade, or drones that attack the enemy ship pierce. So this is piercing on every attack. Okay. <laughs> I'll take piercing on every attack forever. Only things on the same line as the damage duplicate. Okay. Duly noted, unfortunately. Probably upgrade it to one cost. Let's see how it works. We got the Grazer Beam. Every time we miss the enemy by exactly one space, we also deal damage. That's going to make mass firing from the drones even better. So that is most excellent. Yeah. Gosh. to completely ignore shield. Seems good. Repair is back. Missile shot. Launch an object from the missile bay and fire for two damage. It's kind of cute, but I think our missile bay location is going to be blocked a lot of the time. It's Rebel Year with 39 months. Thank you, thank you for the long-term support. This game is uh, worth the uh, investment in. It's not too complicated. Uh, and it's a very fun time. Grab evasive shots. Ah, the Nat Scout. This guy's dodgy. But they'll still take damage, right? Tim Shield. Dodges out of the way to the left. Line it up perfectly, actually. So we want it to... We don't want to complicate matters. Do this, though. Excuse you. Good luck. Bubble field. This is really strong. Apply a damage shield to 
every mid-row object, making it easier for us to keep our huge line of drones intact and allowing them to serve as blockers for us. Indignant Possum, thanks for 22 months. This game is great. And an uninstalled brain with a full year of support. Thank you, thank you. And I could upgrade this to be zero cost, which is pretty insane. Zero cost, one time use. Given how short fights are, I think that's probably a really good upgrade. All right, let's show off what we can do against the big crystal. Big yeah is the main thing about it. We have to block this shot with a body. Taking one whole damage in this fight is okay. Here's Bubble Field B. More drone shift. Not completely happy with how this is going so far. I guess we can scramble <clears throat> Jupiter's moons here. Actually, currently we're only taking two, right? So if I flux multi blast, that's actually fine. And this does quite a bit of damage. And I have three temp shield. Oh yeah, because because a multi attack is going to be separate attacks. Okay, so it's not per drone, but it it is per separate attack line on a card. That's pretty good actually. That's great with multi shot then. Currently only taking one. That's good. Just keep hitting them then. Now we have it, right? Because we can move the drones over, deploy a third moon, <clears throat> and play charge beam here. Attack for four from each drone. Boom. And then basic shot to finish. GG. Damage output of the ship is nuts. <laughs> Endless magazine is pretty tempting, giving us a chip shot at the start of every turn. What about weaken the hull? Cause a part to take more damage from all its hacks. Too expensive, though. Oh, man. Weaken two points, or... Make a part brittle, taking double damage. Okay, weaken hold B is very strong. Yeah, just a simple comms vessel. 
That's right. Yeah, weak weaken is gonna weaken multiple points. It's true. I don't like the fact that it costs my whole turn, though. Jojo Star with the prime sub in the four months. Pleasure to be here. Yeah, this can really flop. I'm gonna skip these. Remove three or gain one evade per turn. I really like the demon thrusters here. Give us some more mobility that we're struggling with at the moment. But remove three looks powerful too. Lose basic shot, basic shot. Something else. Not sure if a card counts as found if you don't take it. I think artifacts count as found for not taking them. Not sure, though. I'm going to take the Demon Thrusters. Caps are of eight at three, but I don't think we're going to need too much more than that. Hey, guys, you're killing it out there. And by it, I mean the big crystal monster. Always nice to meet the fans. I've been writing down crystal facts. Like, for example, did you know that if you step on one of them barefoot, it really hurts? Wow, that's crazy. It is. Thanks for the crystal fact. To the Sapphire Cluster. We're in a lawless sector again. You all know the drill. Yeah, check out my cool gun! Give me that. Aw, oh, man. <laughs> we even drew the gun. That's great. Deploy the moon. Shield the moon. Blast the moon. Again, shields are completely ignored by us. Commence the pew pew. Got him. Add two damage to all attacks. It says overpower. Oh my. Oh my. Yoink. Yeah, we want overpower A. Let's see, we can get a max of two repair yards either way. Combats aren't a bad thing. One of these runs, I'm going to try taking as many combats as possible. See what it's like. Just getting more card rewards. But I really like the event design. I'm going this way. Detecting a minefield up ahead. With a lot of exploded ships inside. Let's stop and look for cool stuff. We'll probably barely explode at all. Gain an artifact for one HP or lose three for a choice. I don't have that much. I'll take the, the one. Adaptive plating. Gain one max hull and heal one every time you defeat a boss or an elite. Well, that's going to pay back the one health easily. And yeah, let's upgrade overpower so that I can use overpower alongside... Oh, I see. This exhausts. Uh, that's fine that it exhausts. Of course, I drew it with no attack cards. Of course. Of course. Classic. Hmm. Should use the attack drone for fodder here. We're going to take one whole damage. I guess that's fine.
Nice shot, Perry. Currently, we're only taking one. Still taking one, though. Got him. Parry for eight damage. Boom. So we get that after every elite fight now. Power play. Gain one power drive, but lose one hull? No thank you. Draw one card of each color from the exhaust pile. Probably not that good, actually. Um... It was kind of whatever, too. I'm going to skip these. Parry this. Whenever you have no cards, draw a card, or our s second attack each turn stuns? Is that going to be as broken as I think it will be with uh, the drones? Perhaps it will be. Sir Rezzo, you there, halt thine astral stallion. Hang on, is my auto translator broken? Nay, this is just how I talk. Oh, I see. Prepare for glorious combat. Sure. Let's say we make this an honorable duel. I shan't target thine weak points if ye deign to not target mine. The enemy may behave differently if you follow or break the rules. A normal fight will be fine, thanks. Gaiuzilla, thanks for the 19 months of support. You're heckin' welcome. We accept. Excellent! We should line up the cannons with that weak point. Aye, aye. Perry's not about it. Perry wants to shoot this fool in the face. And who can blame him? We got cannon... Oh, the, um, there's a shield on his ship. That's even better. There's an actual shield there. Right, how's this gonna work? Got lots of uh, shield, too. Okay, it does break that. <laughs> He's got sword missiles. That's cute. Very cute. So this stuns? Yup. Seems OP. Well fought. I see this fight. Fare thee well. Okay, bye. Don't need any of your options, although another bubble field is not the worst thing in the world, actually. Let's have another one, just for safety. And yes, the bubble shield shields um, asteroids. Note, it shields anything in the middle row. That includes enemy missiles, too. Heal one after each combat. Oh man, that's pretty sweet, actually. Where's the whenever you heal, heal for one more artifact now? Star Dog. Starting optimal engagement pattern. If we just move over one, we're fine though. He's launching missiles, which are gonna break my drones, unfortunately. I put one in front of the cockpit. good. Ok. 
Okay. More of a drone guy. We need to get out of here. Guess I'll go this way. The enemy missiles get shielded, too. And there's a solar wind moving objects in the middle row, left and right. Currently, I'm going to get wrecked. wrecked here. One more over. Seems fine. Hit him with the multi-shot. Oh, and we stunned him too. Excellent stunning. Blam. Space mine. Deploy a big space mine. Whoever destroys the big space mine will take three damage. Kind of like that. I want more drone shift. Uh oh. Uh oh. Faulty jump point. We are way too close to a black hole. Oops. If we don't jettison something right now, we're in serious trouble. We're falling. Lose charge beam, overpower, bubble field, or lose three hull. And I bothered upgrading it too? Hmm. Guess we can lose charge beam. You'd think I'd be used to this sort of thing. <laughs> You'd think. Yo. So that's already an upgrade. A little shift upgrade could be good. Multi blast upgrade could be good. Scramble upgrade, not that good because of the engines. Maple Manatee with 31 months. Don't know that there's any way to, to skip or otherwise accelerate the story in this game. The upgrade to parry can add retain, which is not bad, actually. Let's do that. As we get into boss fights, I think that'll be really good. Because then we can set up to have multiple drones, and then they, the boss does a big attack, and we just blast them to pieces. Hey, it's Evil Rigs again. Evil Rigs? I'm just normal Rigs. Interesting. So to you, I'm Evil Rigs. No, I've been calling you Stuple Rig, Stupid Rigs. I see. I see. Yeah, the dialogue in this game is just too good. And we got Perry on turn one. That's exciting, actually. Here, please enjoy a space mine. To your face. shield. Okay, 
me, but that's a lot of missiles, though. Hmm. Oh, we can parallel shift the missiles, no problem. 24 hull. We're almost there, actually. Parallel shift. If I deploy another moon, it won't work anyway. Yeah, just done it. Good damage. And then? Enemies dealing seven damage, so Perry does seven damage times three with piercing. Boom! It's one dead boss. Ship is ridiculous. Strafe. Fire for one damage immediately after every move you make. It's four cost though. I still want it, I think. Well, it seems good, but it's so expensive. I'm not sure it's actually worth it. Start of combat, combat gain one power drive. On the second turn of combat, our enemy also gains one. Another remove three, or sharp, start with three shield and three evade on turn one. Kind of like adding one to all of our damage. Yeah, deck's definitely struggling to uh, put stuff in play at times. Which can make it feel a bit weak. I really do like removing three. Who's basic shot, basic shot. And the attack drone. Let's do that. Onwards. Oh, that's true. Enemy power drive makes the parry stronger. I hadn't thought about that. That's pretty good. Ah, uh, simplicity. not even hitting me now. Well, that's embarrassing for you. Metal repair. Heal four whole. Playing this card removes it from your deck completely. How about front loaded blast? Attack for four damage. Add three fumes to the draw pile. There won't be any draw pile. Can you stack bubble shield? I don't think so. Uh oh, it's crab time. Crap time. Alright, you can have a shield, friend. Attack drone mark two. Did you know oysters and snails are known as lesser crabs? Hmm, go on, go on. Lesser crabs, you say. What's letting me ignore shields? Uh, we have this, the Drone Piercer. 
all drone attacks pierce, and this ship only attacks with drones, so all of our attacks pierce, which is very OP. Yeah, and just to be clear, Brack totally just made that up about <laughs> lesser crabs. That's not real. It's not even slightly real. Oh, a homing missile. Did you know crabs are going to win this fight? You go a little slower. Crabs are going to win. Shield looks good. And I'll do it again. Did you know I'm out of crab facts? It's true. And you're out of hole. Reusable multi blast. That's pretty strong, actually. Let's skip, though. I want the events. Events are cool. My brain itches. An extra planar being. That one time damage card that we can multiply. That's gonna be OP. Ah, the Rusting Colossus. This was trouble last time. strong here. Let's do overpower multi-shot. That'll deal some real damage. this. GG. Get charge beam back if I want to. I don't think I do want to. Give me more cards on turn one. Or every four Isaac cards played gives a bubble, but the... Drones that we're launching. The Jupiter's Moons are not Isaac cards. They're Jupiter cards. Give me the quick draw. And an event. Hello there. Would you care to engage in some debate? Talk about the issues? Got nothing but time in my hands. We can do this over and over again. Gain an annoyance. So we can cross-convert our upgraded cards. Endlessly. If we really, really want to. I don't think I want to do that. No, 
I will not debate you, sir. Well, goodbye now. Get the overclocked generator. Gain an energy every third turn. Any amount of energy is good here. What are salutations? Good question. The happy engine. Happier flower. It's a good one to make zero cost. What does the fight option do? I have not been brave enough to find out yet. How's it going, Baylorg? This game is very promising. I've been enjoying this quite a lot. Let's get multi-shot upgraded then. You can click once on fight and he'll be like, are you sure? <laughs> is anyone else getting a really bad headache? Give me a parry card. Another parry. I'll take a second parry, actually. As we go into the final boss here. In fact, upgrade that one to retain also. We're going to use parry on the final boss for maximum destruction. Time check? Four milliseconds. Hell yeah. Yeah. Got a very powerful turn one here. What do you call it when an elevated possum gives you good returns? Awesome possum. High rigs, high reward. Cat is gone. Cat is gone because Cat is in the cobalt and was destroyed by the antivirus. Personal personality core missing. Uh, backup programming active. That's what it says during this fight. So we go space mine, Jupiter's moon, shoot the hell out of it. Multi-shot will deal a ton of damage. Oh, I can't overpower multi-shot, huh? Or one short. Oh, we're gonna take four damage. Unless I... Move here. Seems fine. This will do eight? Might as well. By the time we see that card again, we'll have already won this fight. not great, but probably worth it. Oh god. <laughs> Maybe it wasn't. <laughs> terrible. That's terrible. That's what the nanofibers are for. Thankfully we have shields on these, so they're fine. That was the turn we had bonus energy too. That's extra rude. Read 
deploy the vocal fields. This is not going well. Both of my parries are in the wrong location. What I learned here. Six incoming. We have eight hole. I really don't want <laughs> to move currently. So I guess we just Jupiter's Moon Bubble Shield. Next turn we should have a kill here. Because we've got basic shift and double parry, we should be able to do tremendous damage. Oh yeah, this is only plus one, rather. Yes, you're right. It's five, five damage incoming. Even better. Glad we got that extra hole. Definitely needed it to win. Oh yeah, and here's triple parry. So we do 12 times three. Back to the boss's face. Get wrecked, sir. Boom. You are growing stronger. Who shall it be this time? Perry, we gotta get Perry's first memory here. I don't trust this. I know. If you don't let my crew out of this loop, I swear I will find a way to kill you. You would be unable. Memory one. T minus 282 days. Hi, Hyperia? Call me Perry. Oh, it's short for Hyperia. That's cool. I'm Max, computer guy. You come highly recommended. Dizzy said you were the best. He did? Yeah, you just missed him, but he's already on board. So, this is the ship. Yes, the Cobalt. I've never seen a ship that looks like this. Where did it come from? I don't know. Was it built? Found? Stolen? I don't know. Um, aren't you, like, in charge? I don't know. Then why hire us? Why not just hire a mechanic? I don't know. Cool. Good memory. Alright, sounds like we need to get Riggs's first memory unlock next. That was under an hour. That was our fastest run by far. No surprise with how high our damage output was. GG. GG. Let's do uh, one more here. I'm going to play with the Aries again. Let's do Riggs Perry and... I enjoyed Drake quite a bit. Riggs Perry Max is probably fun. Drone Pierce, absolutely MVP in that last run, just letting us completely ignore shields. How difficult would I say this game is? Moderately difficult. It's um, not, not completely easy as far as deck builders go. Uh, we haven't lost here on stream yet, although I think I will if I play this game long enough. We've come close a couple of times. And I've watched some other veteran Spire players tackle this game, and they have lost on uh, the hardest difficulty. Yeah, maybe Ascension 15 for a, a hardest run. Maybe a little lower. Can I show the options screen? Sure. Here is all of the options. Oh, you can have a smooth font. If you don't like the pixel font, by the way, that's toggleable on and off. Screen shake should be off. Let me fix that. Cool. Those are all the settings, though. Maybe that was added with an update? No, this is 1.0.0. That's true. No, no reset or undo button in this game does add some difficulty, definitely. And yes, it does keep track of the number of games. There's some sort of persistent story happening. 
haven't seen a daily run modifier. Let's play with these three. Oh yeah, so this has five max shield by default. I can go down to four max hull. Let's lose one max shield. And then give me a common artifact. Crosslink. Every fifth time we attack, gain one evade. Wakey, wakey! Hey, cat, can we talk in private? Hmm? For the loop, I don't remember you being this, um, smart. Me neither. I was looking through your files. Rude. What's in memory bank? 0xF3. I don't know. When I try to look inside it, things get kind of hazy. Purple eyes. Anyway, I should still have your root password. I could delete that file for you. Do not delete the file. Whoa, all right, sorry. It's okay. I'm programmed to help the crew. If you think this will help, next time we're near a high energy power source, we can try. Just please don't deactivate me. I won't. Neat. Tarjay acquired. So, the Ares ship draws only four cards per turn, but can toggle its active cannon each turn, with the inactive cannon having armor. Uh, as, as well, it's only four spaces wide, meaning you have to do less evasion than other ships to avoid enemy fire entirely. Just felt the engines kick out. Keep shooting. Charge beam is back. Whiplash. Move two to the left. Shoot for two. Move one to the right. Oh, interesting. With t with the... I like this. Give me that. What's that upgrade to? Two, two, one. Flippable. Or two, three, one. Cool card. Good to have you, Baylorg. Glad you found your way here to the live stream. All cats are inherently evil. They say. Let's take two elites on. Question is, do I want an event or a repair yard? Repair yards are pretty good in this game. Repair yards are pretty good. option. I'll try it. It's flippable like holdover. Now it means you can reverse the left-right directionality of the card if it has such a thing. So lunge, for example, is move two to, two to the right and then attack for one. If you upgrade it to the flippable version, you can make it two left or two right at your discretion. Do this all day. Mm. 
maybe not. Uh-oh. Uh, no, this is fine, actually. Looks like we could use a little bit more damage here. Wave Beam. Zero cost piercing reusable card. Quick thinking. Zero, one cost draw three. Upgrades to one cost draw five. Pretty potent. Give me that. T-shot. Regular shot. Be immune to the BS. Right, you have armor. Draw one card of each color from the draw pile. Now or never. Three evade. Lose all evade next turn. Or gain one evade. Draw more cards next turn. Second opinions is okay. Zero cost draws, definitely welcome. Question is, can we get through our fight with Spike? We've met before, right? Most loops, yeah. I don't remember that we're in a loop until I run into you guys. You always remember? We do. Aha, so it's your fault somehow. Um, I've got the moral high ground now, suckers. Dang it. He does. Nice weak points. 
So he has a lot of shield. Shoots a two damage shot when it gets hit. Easy enough with the Ares cannon. Don't try to use Whiplash here. It won't end well. Play Scramble. Oh, that's right, the safety override. When we draw this card, we immediately attack for one damage. Definitely questionable utility here. Let's get rid of that card. the way I want it to, right? Yep. I'm glad that hit the cannon. Yeah, not as bad as it could have been, indeed, Perry. GG. Whoa, that's a cool icon. Boost! Add two to the next status that you gain. Very cool. Another admin deploy. Huh, two to the next status you gain. There's a couple statuses that could be good for. I don't see a lot of application here, though. Skip these. Another early adaptive plating. This is the earliest possible adaptive plating, actually, so that makes it really good. Or draw a card every time you miss a shot. Probably we won't do that much. This thing can be really good under the right circumstances, but let's grab the early uh, heals. And the ricochet paddle. If we shoot an incoming missile, we turn it around. You guys still looking for a fight? You came to the right place, says Drake. Don't embarrass yourself. Drake adds heat. Can be quite annoying. Drake also shields up pretty well. some whole damage here. Bummer. Focus on target. Enhance. Doesn't work that way, though. It does not work that way. Just 
just having more evasion built up is probably the smart play here. Turn for lunge. Nice if I could kill this turn. I can. Okay. Multi shot. Toggle the cannon. Perform the whiplash maneuver. GG. Okay. We lost one very valuable point of hull, but we get it back for defeating Drake there. Wave Beam is looking a lot better now. We have a pretty good draw, and having a zero cost thing to draw into is a good idea. I don't love it. Gain two of eight on turn one. Oh man, I love that. Or every fourth turn, gain one overdrive, dealing bonus damage. I want that evade turn one. That's very valuable, especially since there's no limit to the amount of evasion stacks you can have. The Monarch Drone Hub. Six of aid. Sounds nice. need to draw a wave beam again to kill, actually. Let's uh, cycle here. Make my life a lot easier. There's wave beam. Toggle the cannon and kill. Get pierced, sir. Make a temporary copy of your leftmost card. Multi-blast is perfectly fine does good damage. Take a multi-blast. This is upgrade to three damage, or add two wave beams, put them in the draw pile. This can be three, three, which is really good, or reusable one cost for two is also pretty good. The draw five version of quick thinking, too. No multi blast day. Want some damage. As we go into the big crystal fight. Really good turn one positioning. We're being hit for zero here. Although that makes me not want to use whiplash. Just multi blast it. Good start. Cannon, get rid of reroll here. Take zero damage again. Love this. Should charge the wave beam. Guess we can just move over one, huh? Okay, 
this works, right? I even got an evade from the crosslink. Scrambling time. Wave charge cannot be used to generate infinite wave beams. No, you, the initial card exhausts on play, but then the wave beam sticks around. Okay, backup stick is a little better with the wave beam. Oh, I didn't upgrade wave charge. Be a good upgrade. Selective memory is really nice. Just letting us seek any one card. Let's grab that. Power Diversion. All non-parry card attacks deal one less damage. So basic shot, draw shot, whiplash. Although all the others are good and we get one more energy per turn. That's pretty sweet. Or Flow State. We draw one fewer card per turn, but the first three times we play a card each turn, we draw another card. So get lots of card draw. Remove 3 is pretty good as well. I'm down for either Power Diversion or Flow State. 3 draw per turn is very strong. Especially in a ship that has reduced card draw by default. Let's try Flow State here. Howdy! Hey Books, how's it going? I got a new crystal fact! Did you know that if you hold one and wish really hard, you can travel through time and space? That's cute. Check it out. Three, two. Boop. Um. What? Clearly, we need to take this place more seriously, which means I can have the gun back, right? Just be careful with it. I believe Cannon Toggle counts as a card, right? Yes, it does for the flow state. Sure. 
Let's use that. Getting stronger. Let's use Rimble, or I can use Scramble. No, Scramble's better. Zero cost retained raw one. This is really nice with the flow state. Give me that. Just helps me front load my card draw more. Any upgrades that feel really important here? Quick thinking is okay. I want to upgrade wave charge. Let's get that upgraded before we go. Double elite here. Goliath Defender. That's right. The Ruster is engaged. Damage me unless I wish it. So we'll kill. The quick thinking zero cost upgrade can draw itself. Interesting. That implies a fundamental difference in how the card draw works from Slay the Spire. Uh, and several other deck builders, too. Most of the time, when you play a card, it doesn't go to the discard pile until you finish resolving it. So cards, by definition, cannot draw themselves because they're still in play, but I guess it works differently here. So you can just have a one card infinite if it says draw on it, huh? But I fail to see how this gets anywhere near doing infinite combos. We have too much junk in the deck. Can't draw all of our cards. 
Not even with the... Uh... Not even with the uh, flow state. Take a zero cost uh, one time use card though. That sounds good. Verily. Wave beam ah. Uh. Seven of eight built up, which I'm going to need because there's missiles here, which we can bounce, by the way. So we can do basic shot, draw shot, basic shot. Have fun. by your own missiles. Embarrassing. Escape artist. Draw one, discard one. Randomize the order of the cards in your hand. And then autopilot two. Immediately after you play the left or rightmost card in your hand, move left or right two until the end of the turn. Weird. Weird card. No thanks. How's it going, Spike? Another nerd I can turn the missiles around on. Second Opinions A gets from the discard pile. Save your current position to a load state. Add a card to your hand. Move to where you used save state. What a cool card. I'm going to try that. Extra battery looks great too, actually. that upgrade to? Zero cost. 
or not one-time use. Like this real cost upgrade just fine. We are a tanky, uh, tanky Ares here. 12 max hull on Ares. It's going to be 14 going into the final boss here. Tell me where that is. I'm gonna find out, I guess. Okay, it says instantly move one space to the right. So it does tell me in a way. Hull is gone. Glurp, glarp. Glurp, glarp yourself. This is probably not where I want to be, huh? Move zero spaces. Boom. Let's go. Branch prediction auto dodge to the right one. That's kind of cool. Well, we a Transformer. Thanks for the 34 months of support. Here's the heal booster. A bit late. What would we like to add retain to? Guess it's fine on multi blast A. Let's run some circles around him. Charge beam retain would actually be terrible, by the way, because it you have to draw it each time to charge it. So if you retain it, you can't charge it anymore. And it exhausts when you play it. So, uh, no, unfortunately.
got the multi-hit card. Malty Malt, thanks for the tier one sub. That's right, the cockpit here with the skull icon takes double damage. It's okay. Looks like we're gonna take two hole here. Some of that back though. Strafe is back. Or Math Dot Max for tons of card draw. Math Dot Max is a great way to draw back to our Wave Beam and other zero cost cards. I'll take it. Strong start. Gain one boost at the start of your first turn of combat. Add one to the next status we would gain. It's pretty sweet. Shield memory, too late. There's only one fight left. It's going to be the strong start, whatever that does. And we're going to... Think about upgrading Math Max. Didn't really remove any basic cards this run. I'm sure it's fine. What up, evil me? All right, enough stupid rigs, enough. You're just some weird time echo or something, like a sick cosmic joke. It's not funny. Pretty sure we're both real. I think we're both just rigs. That's so much worse. That is worse. Yeah. Just root roll through the damage. Looks good. Don't play that. This is not a good position to be in. We only take two damage. Play scramble for free. Or whoops, that's not what I meant to do. So I'll play multi blast for free. But if we don't have multi blast, we might struggle to deal enough damage. That's okay. Take one hole. We can hit these missiles to turn them around. This looks a little tough. Toggle cannon lunge will reverse this one, I guess. Yeah, let's just turn these back on rigs here.
damage will deal two. We're getting shot here and here for two. Better deal two than block one, I guess. Lots of maneuver. Hmm. There could be only one stupid rigs. There is a hand size limit, it's uh, 10 cards. All right, save a state here. Quite a bit. Move left six. State's now the leftmost card, so admin deploy will always get that, which I don't love. Although I can reroll the location. That's pretty good. It's a way to see which artifacts are new, and not to my knowledge. Left seven, huh? Good-ish. Totally worth it. Over here. 
You're eating your own missile to the face. GG. We have 16 hull on this thing. That's insane. Most of that thanks to the adaptive plating. Hand cannon is back. Hand cannon's quite strong. Have a hand cannon. Genesis. Gain one of two common artifacts, then one of two common artifacts, then one of two common artifacts. Light speed boot disc. On the first turn of battle, draw one extra card, gain one extra energy, choose a card that's not buoyant. We've seen that before. Or the dirty engines. Gain an extra energy every turn, add a trash to your draw pile every other turn. I haven't tried out Genesis yet. But I also like the light speed boot disc. So that we could start with the wave charge or something. Starting with wave charger sounds pretty good, actually. Let's do that. Onwards to the next sector. Automated Evade, best use of AI in space. In spacer. So I can just hand cannon for nine. Seems decent. The damage. It's working. Choose a card in your hand, play it for free. Okay. Don't mind if I do. Let's probably remove some cards. These basic shots are pretty bad now. Thanks, Cleo. Another black hole. We've got a jettison, scramble, or wave charge, or reroll. I guess reroll can go. You can also lose eight hull. Oh my goodness, half the hull. We might want to consider the times two hand cannon. You're right. Let's see, this upgrades to, yeah. One time use, damage equal to twice the number of cards in your hand. Let's just get another uh, scrapyard for that. I'll skip the elite here, even though it would mean one more hole for us.
Lira. Apply status to. I wonder if those all apply heat. Best defense is just leaving. <laughs> That's right, Riggs. Told you this is a good strategy. Just leave. Just leave. Our rigs is really the evil rigs? Good question. What if? Gain one energy every time you spend three or more on a card. Sure. I guess from the strong star. It's actually just one more boost. One more evade, rather. <sighs> 18 damage. Freaking got it. <laughs> GG. Would I prefer the game be harder? I think a little bit harder would be nice. I'd like a little bit more variation on the types of challenges that your opponents throw at you, like uh, enemies that counteract certain kinds of player build. But I think it's, I think it is a, a more of a difficult game than I make it look, just to be clear. Who needs cards? 
Is anyone else getting a really bad headache? Max, what do you got? Shuffle shot. Shuffle your hand, deal three. That's pretty good. That's a common. I'll take cloud save so we can get back our, uh, I know Kung Fu. <laughs> you do not. Aw. Good Matrix reference, actually. And, this, uh, and that can upgrade to zero cost, right? Cloud save, yeah. So then we could do a double, um, double super card. Going in! Wave beam that stupid thing. Bolt. Yes, five evade. I can choose a card in my hand to play for free. You'd love to see it. Let's math max that. Choose anything in the draw pile. Choose hand cannon B. This only takes one additional damage, right? So yeah, just choose hand cannon B. Fire this for 18 damage. Guess I want to move over one for the bonus damage. Hit it hard. Pretty sure we kill it next turn. I don't want to draw any cards. One less energy this turn, though, actually. Wait. Oh, I see. I'll have to wait one more then. This is fine. So simple, actually. It's only just 12. Let's do hand cannon whiplash. I guess so. Okay, so we still have 16 damage we gotta do. Easier said than done, I suppose. Ah, oh, we can turn that missile around. Card in your hand, play it for free. No, play the leftmost card. Turn that around. Then we can stun this. Okay, that's going well. We should have played basic dodge, actually. Lunge will hit right in the weak point here. GG. Wait. Not GG. Not GG at all. 
Bummer. Left to two. I don't want to move left to. Yeah, I don't think the final boss is, is necessarily all that hard. There's some nice, comfortable places to park a ship that uh, prevent its attack pattern. Uh, the stunnable middle cannons aren't too bad, as long as you stay away from the, the dead center super cannon. This fight isn't too bad, and you don't need that much evasion to do that. Toggle the cannon. Fire the wave beam. GG. You are growing stronger. Who shall it be this time? Riggs, you need your first uh, memory. What is this? Be still, my child. You mentioned a broken time stream. Is that like my past? Is that why my so many of my memories are hazy? Yes, you more so than any. Now be still. Okay. Memory one for Riggs. T minus 124 days. Cobalt STC, this is G72 Artemis requesting permission to dock. Copy G72 Artemis, state your cargo and passenger roster. Cargo sheet lists 30 tons of water, 10 tons of rations, and 2 tons of science equipment. Copy. Proceed to docking port 5. Please sign here, here, and here. Who are you? What happened to the last delivery pilot? I'm Riggs. I just started today. The last pilot got spooked by some pirates along the route, so he quit. And they installed a cannon on the Artemis and hired me. And you know how to handle yourself in combat? I do, yeah. Good, and you'll be the pilot for our regular deliveries from here on out. Unless I get blown up. So Riggs was the delivery pilot. Makes sense. GG, we've got one un memory unlocked for everybody. Now we got to work through two and three, which I do want to do. I'll, I'll probably play until we unlock all of the memories. Although not today, of course, you know, just in general. Another excellent win on Hardest. I like it. Lots of artifacts on this run. Snowbun Zero says they've got alt bosses planned. That is, uh, that would be a huge boon to the replayability of this game, is alt bosses. Three possibilities for each act boss would make tons of, tons of fun, I think. GG, still haven't even seen half the cards, allegedly. Can I see the collection anywhere? Codex. Cards. Hmm. I need to held. So yeah, I think this only counts cards we've taken. It means we probably ought to take new cards. Yeah, this is definitely only cards we've taken. Hmm. Not sure about artifacts. Have I taken the heal booster? Unclear. It's also only things you've taken. Looks like that's the case. We've taken all the max artifacts, because, well, because yes. That shows the character combinations we played with, too. That's cool. Oh, and it shows all the possible combinations that you can play with, too.
Sounds like we gotta play without rigs. We've been taking rigs on every run here. A lot to unlock. Very neat. Well, next time we return to Cobalt Core, we'll be getting more of those combinations, more of those memories unlocked. What's the fourth bar? Uh, luck book here. That's the cards that you've unlocked or picked on that character. So we can now see how many cards we haven't picked. And these are the same, right? It must be. Yeah, because we've done four runs. You can see all the uh, combos highlighted. Very cool. And again, this is not even all the car characters. There are two more characters that we have yet to unlock. Seven and eight, which will add even more cards. And we only need three more wins to unlock whatever this ship is. I hope they add some more ships too. Only five is, it's a bunch, but not uh, not so many that I don't feel like there's room for more. So here's what's gonna happen, Twitch chat. I'm gonna take a break, refill the legs, stretch the water. Yeah, I'm good at deck builders, who knew? The unlock condition says this crewmate will invite herself aboard eventually. Don't worry about it. Literally, don't worry about it. <laughs> so I'm going to take a quick, quick break here, refill the legs, stretch the water. When I return, we're going to switch on over and play some Dome Keeper. I want to do one or two Dome Keeper runs to round out the stream today. As I am satiated on Cobalt Core for now, although I really enjoy the runs we did. So, back in five to ten minutes or so, Twitch chat, when I return, more roguelite action. Am I done with Against the Storm? No, I'm. I did put it in a timeout box after last time, admittedly. But uh, some other games popped up that I've been enjoying. We'll probably play some next weekend. But I have I have no intention of being done with the game. It's not even fully released yet. We'll do more of it. Anyway, I will be right back. Don't go nowhere. Push out.
All right, Twitch chat, we are back. <clears throat> Let's kick it on over to some Dome Keeper. And a uh, Dome Keeping theme dad joke for Virtual 256. Why did the engineer become a fashion designer? Because he wanted to get some new digs. Different music? Question mark? Interesting. So, I'm going to be doing the Artillery Dome, playing on a larger map size this time. I think I want to go back to the, the engineer, the traditional diggy diggy type fellow. He's got a drill and a jet pack. The other character who flings resources around feels kind of OP, at least in the early game. I need... What do you mean I seem to be muted still? I should be able to hear me now, yes? Audio is good now, okay. Just wanted to double check. What's not good, however, are my controller batteries, so I actually do need to disappear for one more minute here. Okay, now we're good. Now we can begin a new game. 
of Dome Keeper here. Tried out the Tesla Dome, that was kind of cool. We've had at least a chance to try out all four basic dome types. We have both of the player characters unlocked as well. Oh, I see, that's what happened when we found the skull suit. We straight up unlocked a new suit. Heck yeah. And I want my gadget, I think, to be the shield. Although the orchard is an interesting option. Plant a tree in the dome growing fruits to buff your movement and mining power. I don't know if I want to try that on the huge map. Let's do artillery dome shield here. So we're going to do brutal difficulty, huge map size. Oh, and we've got some new mon run modifiers unlocked. If you don't like the uh, monsters, interesting that this would be something you'd have to unlock. But you can just play uh, sort of a peaceful mode. No monsters. Hmm. Triple supplements. Let's start the run. So in Dome Keeper, we're mining into a, an underground expanse beneath our dome here, seeking out iron, cobalt, and water as resources to uh, do stuff. Seems like a pretty good start. We got iron very quickly here. Okay, we have a little bit more time before the first wave arrives. Let's dig down a little bit. So, the artillery dome is all about making aim shots. Kind of a little difficult to... whoops. Kind of a little difficult to aim, but with some practice you can hit enemies pretty quickly and uh, kill them nice and fast. Okay, got quite a bit of water to start with. Grab the early adaptive wave timer, just so I don't forget to get it. Um, what else can we do with just a little bit here? We could improve our shield. 
I decided I wanted Electro Blast with the uh, Artillery Dome. You know what? Let's grab that really early here. That'll give me a once per wave. Oh, no, wait. That's four and two, not two four. <laughs> Never mind. All right. Good talk. Can't uncharge the shots. Kind of weird. Hey. Thank you. Definitely appreciate having that shield to absorb any uh, initial damage so we don't get chipped down over time. Oh yeah, and I can move the face cam again, that's right. I should make a setup just for Domekeeper. Really ought to. Oop. Conveniently hiding the join us on Discord uh, icon as well. Take that. All right, we should keep investing in our ability to explore and dig. Given that we're playing on the largest map size, uh, it's important not to fall behind in our exploration abilities. We should upgrade the AA gun early, I think, based on that performance. Heck yeah, more iron. Lots more iron. Good. Uh, whoops. Shoot yourself. Afraid dig again. Thankfully, no self-damage on the, uh, on the thing that I've seen. Okay, we did not get the AA upgrade yet. I want me a Drillbert. Drillbert best pal. There's also a resource converter, but that's not my child. Drillbert is my child. A little bit more practice. We're not doing terribly, though, just badly. Hold the eye. 
Oh no. Thank you. And then Drillbert had a snooze. Better at least go wake Drillbert. <clears throat> First thing though is the AA gun. Upgrade, lest I perish without it. And I want to try the single target damage line, Monster Buster. We'll also get that relatively soon. Does increase our reload time. I see you can get the swift reload. Oh no, he just went back to sleep anyway. Shoot. That was foolish. That's right, we have to upgrade Drillbert to get the auto turn. Let's see where our health's at. Okay, we're not doing as bad as I thought, health wise. <clears throat> no need to fear then. That's why I gotta get Electroblast on the shields. Uh, let's get that now. That will make the little guys much less threatening. Grab a repair, too. A decent amount of cobalt banked, at least, so even if we get hit a bunch, it won't be too bad in, in the short term. Good find, Gilbert. I realize I messed up your digging plan, sir, but consider iron. grab a monster buster as well for a big damage upgrade and then I'll focus on uh, economy upgrades next but I feel like getting just those initial damage upgrades is so important this is too tough to be worth digging
That's more like it. Fix her digging? No, let's just have a weird dig pattern here. Whatever. It's fine. Good work, buddy. So, second gadget here. Combat repair. Automatically repairs the dome once at, during combat after taking more than a certain amount of damage. Kind of like meat on the bone. I did not enjoy combat repair last time we tried it. Or electrified hull. Hurt monsters that attack in melee. This is either completely useless or completely OP against the little swarms. I'm not sure which. Chat would know. Yeah, we, we tried combat repair. It's actually bad as a good description. Completely useless. Okay, that makes sense. But it'll work against the bigger ones that attack in melee. That's okay. And that can be further upgraded, so it does 8 damage to anything that strikes the hull of the dome. And that can be upgraded to 20 for a bunch of cobalt, which I will not be doing. Got a lot of water here. I'm going to spend it on Drillbert, my child. in there. That hurt a bit. Could have timed my uh, electro field a bit better. Alas. Hey, buddy. Sure can go far in this direction, huh? over here. <laughs> Probably need to upgrade our carrying capacity again soon. Uh, although I think flight speed should be our next upgrade in terms of priority of exploration. That'll be eight to get that. Could further upgrade Drillbert too. We're doing okay in the combats for now, I think. I don't really have time to do anything, huh? Oh, 
Oh god, that doesn't last as long as I need it to. Yikes. Ah! But my hole? Okay, noted. We I gotta upgrade the Electroblast to be longer. I thought it lasted four seconds. That was not four seconds. Maybe I'm misremembering. So what else is in here? In the Forbidden Zone. See if we can hold this back in time. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Let's drop it. I've already lost valuable time here. Definitely need something. Need more stuff. We need Drillbert. That's what we need. Back to work. Dig. Probe for minerals or auto cannon for defense. Kind of like the idea of having more guns on this thing. Give me the auto cannon. I've had pretty good experience with the cannon before. Let's see, we have exactly six, huh? Let me see what Electroblast says right now. Yeah, four second ability duration. Odd. Well, we can make it last seven seconds. That'll help a lot more. Can you upgrade your character speed? Yes. Yes, you can. That'll be our next upgrade. I probably should have saved up for that, rather than grabbing the uh, defense upgrade, but here we are. There we go, that actually lasted the correct amount of time this time. Good. Got all of them. I wonder if there's some stuff to the left or right we're missing. Probably a bit, huh? My child, what have you done? Good work. I 
Excellent work. Oh, stop. this and we use it to drag all the other stuff at full speed no less jettison a little bit here going up We should be able to grab all of these materials with our day, essentially. It's two trips up and down. And then we can get the flight speed. This is definitely where I'd love to have some assistance in bringing back more materials. The elevator or teleporter would be very nice, but... One thing at a time. Speed. Shield strength might be nice for another four. Also get advanced conditioning on Drillbert. I'd like to slow the the health loss. Let's upgrade the shield here. Yeah, the wave timer pauses when you're in the upgrade menu, so you have you have time to think and decide. Uh, we got three cobalt. I do like this dome type. Pretty badass. Child, you've done all the work again. materials to further upgrade my child. No breaks. No stopping at walls. to do anything once we go back up there. 
sure Drillbert can find his way back down into the drilling hole. Where he will live forever. Okay, now we go. Secret goods. Okay, let's grab the next carrying capacity upgrade. I always cheap out on this. I think this is not the map size to do it on. We have a good number of cobalt now. That's exciting. Five more. We should focus on getting, like, wide rotation or better anti-air soon. What are the upgrades for the cannon? What the shotgun. Four to six, faster move speed, faster time. love of the cannon so far, but let's see. Shotgun, 20 bullet times 6 every 4 seconds. That's pretty good, actually. Have I unlocked the Drillbert game mode? No, I've not heard of that. Sure, give me improved auto cannon. We'll be upgrading almost everything on this map size. What am I doing? It's not time. Now it's time. getting nasty. Wait a little not. There's a little bit of materials over there still. Check on drillbirds. We shouldn't... Okay, that's good, good finding, child.
11. Even better. Dense, huh? Alright, just go back up. Whatever. Couldn't make up my mind what, with what to do with my five seconds, so I did nothing. Got one material. I'll take it. A lot of different threats going on. We're having some trouble with. All right, you find anything else, buddy? Mostly a no. Oh yeah, you'll fetch resources that are left on the ground. That's right. So that will help with resource acquisition. Convenient. Mm. Oh well. Let's see, do we have anything we can do here? Not much. We only have one cobalt too, so we're gonna start to get worn down pretty quick. Um, but now that we have the, the resource upgrades, the flight speed and the more carrying capacity, hopefully Drillbert can help us upgrade the dome substantially. And that's where I'm, where I'm going to focus most of our upgrades moving forward, trying to get to a place where we're taking little or no damage each wave. Good luck to us. that, but we are. Wake up, for God's sake, Drillburn. Got drilling to do. There's some cobalt. Okay, that keeps us alive a little bit longer. But it's definitely tough to drill through this uh, rock. Holy crap. We need to dig somewhere else. over there, Drillbert. One cobalt for all that work. Oh, no. Hmm. Concerning.
Yeah, I'm gonna save up for main gun upgrades. Dead yet. Not exactly alive either. Okay, dig home, child. Good luck. I'll go see if I can find something else to work with here. This ground looks relatively light. Water? This with a resource scanner would have helped a lot. We wouldn't have to dig through as much stuff. much. Doom approacheth. Not dead yet. Just almost dead. See, there might be some some side diggage we can do. Like up. For the most part, we've dug as far sideways as we can every location. There's nowhere else to go on the sides. Blessed iron, okay. okay. Let's take all this. Hopefully this will let us survive another wave with the cannon upgrade. Squid buddy, go get it. Good work. Slingshot maneuver, you got it. Okay, we have one cobalt, and our hope is that somehow by acquiring Monster Buster 2, we can kill the stupid chargers before they become a real problem. Oh god. That's exactly the right time to get Monster Buster 2, huh? Nice. Those, those big um, siege beasts will be very easy for the Artillery Dome to dispatch. We're very happy they're part of the matchup. I was thinking... It, we might end up losing this whole thing because um, our dome is really ineffective at fighting the types of monsters we're getting, but things are looking a little bit better now. 
Gonna need another anti-air upgrade and probably the rotation speed upgrade too. Not sure why I just grabbed all these and nothing else here. Oh, that's right. Rotation speed is locked behind wide rotation. Whatever. Get to fast fire then. But we still don't have much health to lose, so it's a race against time here. Let's just dig as much area that we, as possible, as quickly as possible. Let's see if we can find some stuff. Our child finds some stuff. Good. Wake up, child. Accident too. Bummer. Okay, we have to aim very carefully at that guy. Okay, let's get fast fire on the AA gun here. And more health. You didn't die! Son of a gun. I directly hit that thing and it didn't die. Those guys have a lot of health. Good job, Driller. for another health upgrade. 18 for Monster Buster 3. We can get Deadly Blast for even more seconds of... Electro Blast and more stun to help me deal with those big stinkers. So yeah, I'll take Deadly Blast here. I'm gonna rely on Electro Blast to keep these nasty melee enemies off of me. guys are no problem. Now, if we face three of them, I'll have to upgrade the artillery thing again. 
That's about it, though. Oh, no, you don't. Back to work. I want Monster Buster next, so we don't need to grab anything else at the moment. Oh, Robert found something. Still have more time here. Right, what did you find, child? Iron. Good. That's exactly what we want. Lots of iron. allowed to carry even. Cease your nonsense. Okay. Got Monster Buster 3. And we have to do well on this wave. Oh, good job, Auto Cannon. Excellent. We can shred this for Cobalt at minimum, so this is hit points. And there's Cobalt, too. Okay. That'll buy us some more time.
Alternately, it could be a really helpful secondary like the stun laser, which I would take. Let's see what our see what our options are here. Oh, the spire! Shoot down incoming projectiles. Yes, that's worth two cobalt here. Given that I know where more, more cobalt is too. But it needs a sustained fire. Consider energy trap too. Spire has a lot of upgrades. Oh, that's right, and you can improve the cooldown further just with water. Let's do that a couple of times. Still has a six second recharge. Does this even help, actually? No, let's just have really fast... Spire shots. Without iron spent. See, there's good stuff in here, right? back for the cobalt momentarily. We didn't even lose the shield there. That was perfect. I might have missed an altar or something. Yeah, that's a possibility. I don't actually know how those things work. Pro tip. Haven't got a clue. Three cobalts. Okay, we're going to live. Robert, you are being inefficient with your drilling. Instead of changing what you're doing, I'm just going to help you. Good. Somewhere to the left. Yes. Thanks. Okay. We have escaped the disaster scenario. We've already revealed all the dirt, but I'm just kind of clearing up pathing for myself. Oh, there's three of them now. But we got the upgrade we talked about, so this should be easy. Oops. If I don't waste my shots.
I realize this isn't the most efficient way to use Thriller. I don't care. I'm helping my child. Enjoy. Hello. Bring two iron here. To get, I think, a gadget. Shield's still up. I thought that was sloppy. It was not. Um, we're going up here. No, just look for the closest. To the soft, malleable earth. Soft or malleable enough. See, you found more water though, Drillbert. Good work. Alright, I'll help you again. I can upgrade the spire with this. That's an enemy who damages us through the shields. I usually like to use the reflection ability on those ones. But we have the other one. Looks like another monster buster upgrade would let us just kill him in one hit, though. Seems pretty good. Let's see, still haven't found any iron. Concerning. Okay, we found some, but it's slow going. It's better than nothing, I guess.
We could get the gadget, but that's on the other side of the mine here. I'm not sure we'll have enough time. In fact, I gotta go now. Could have been a bit better. I timed my electro blast better if I aimed my initial shots better, so that I didn't have to use the electro blast on the first guy. Oh well. We found some iron. That's what matters. Back with more of that. Yeah, the octopus was free. The octopus is just kind of like a little bonus that we found on the map. So we have uh, zero resource expenditure into that guy. Let's see. There's fast reload or monster buster four. Actually lowers my shell damage. We want Monster Buster 4 then. Also, does anyone see this? The tooltip for Swift Reload is a complete lie. Shell reload speed 4.25 seconds down to 2.25 seconds, except that's not what my shell reload speed is. My shell reload speed is 3.25 seconds currently. So where are you coming up with 4.25 from, huh? Frickin' liar. Lying. Homing rockets? Hmm. Homing rockets. It's the same DPS. Yeah, that's my that's my guess adjective noun is that Monster Buster 3 used to be 4.25 seconds, but they buffed it at some point. That's that would that's the first thing that comes to mind as as to explain why this would be a lie like this. But who knows? I'm going to grab another health upgrade. Probably didn't need that. I probably should have grabbed digging speed. But here we are. Um, I'm not gonna have enough time to do this, huh? Hmm. All right. Yeah, just go back up. We'll get the gadget next wave. The great iron fraud. Blippity blappity. What? 
<laughs> that was my shot. I was aiming at the big guy, thank you. There you go. Spire, save me. That was great. That was hot nonsense, but that was great. Here? Yeah, right here. Okay, so that lets me see further into the walls, I believe. So we can now see resources from a bit further away, and I can change my digging pattern a bit. This game does have an end, yes. We're looking for something specific deep underground here. As we're playing on the largest map size, it does take a while to get to. Oops. Good, we'll get it. We'll pass him on the way down. High five, buddy. Still losing health in some of these fights. Yeah, I can see water over there. Cute. Cobalt. Let's get that. Even if it takes me all the way. We need to use our next upgrades on drill speed. Tempting to further invest in combat, but we have to continue to allow ourselves to explore at an adequate pace down here. Just one. Still good. Still good. Trillbird's speed for only four, and ours is only 12, right? Or eight, even? 12, okay. Get the 12 and upgrade Drillbird. Make us both better at digging.
Rilberto. Core upgrades, 16 for flight speed, 20 for dig strength. Probably not. Let's upgrade our auto cannon some more. Ooh, and cobalt here. Oh, nice. Secret cobalt. Give me that. Excellent. Sweet, sweet survivability. Let's see, we have seven water. Upgrade the cooldown on the Spire. So I'm like emerging a suit of uh, in a tank of water while I do this. Interesting. Good job, Jill Driller. Oh, even better job. So much iron, we don't know what to do with it all. Speed up's not a bad idea either. What about shotgun up? Have you considered the shotgun up?
Yeah, we unlocked the uh, the iron box. It allows a, it allowed us to see further into uh, walls. Should have grabbed speed right then and there, I think. Well, take a few more back. Robert. There's a gadget down there, or maybe the wind condition. We're deep, deep enough that that's very feasibly what that might be. Okay, we have 20... 28. So I could get dig speed, or I could get Monster Buster 4. Start one shot and stuff. That's what I want. Thank you very much. Look at this thing! Boom! Yeah, I've, I've heard somebody say that, that that this max upgrade will be able to one-shot even the super-powered flying enemy that can spawn in the late game. And I cannot wait to see. Buddy, go. Now I should say for dig speed. Got Monster Buster. We should be safe for a while. Yeah, those guys died in one hit. Amazing. Nation. This looks like a regular gadget.
my child is okay on their own. Things have been lonely since they left for college. Ah, the teleporter. Okay, that will help the end game a lot here. Two-way teleporter connects a station in the cellar with a portable portal. That's going to be a very big time saver for the end here. Though it does need a couple of upgrades. Crucially, two-second teleport time is a must. And let's get it a resource teleporter, but also it can teleport us back. Teleport items is weird. Okay, that'll do for now. Take that, buddy. I don't even need to dig that out anymore, huh? Oh. Oh my god, Drillbird. Put them on top of the portal here, which will automatically teleport things. Thank you, Drillbird. Just 10? Okay.
Yeah, we're going to grab drill speed next. We should be able to get that pretty quickly here. And then that'll help a lot. Got an egg and a lot more materials over here, too. Let's grab the egg. Excellent. No, oh, the egg. Shoot. Shotgun. Um, wait, what? Oh, I don't have water. Oh, whoops. No shotgun. to do. What to do when your child won't work for you. Do we have X-ray of vision? We unlocked it uh, by discovering sort of an altar hidden on the map. Wow. We're back to 30 iron. I could dig speed up again. Tempted to keep investing in our offensive capabilities here. I want the homing rockets. And they do double damage. Second anti-air gun is kind of cool. And also now get faster rotation. That'll help a lot. Actually, yeah, let's get faster rotation and the homing rockets. Let's see how this feels. Bloop, bloop. Hopefully just want to hold that down for the most part. Wave over. <laughs> <laughs> mm. 
enough. Guess I can improve the radius of that thing. This is a wind comp thing. Good job, Drill Bert. So that'll point us towards the ancient artifact we need to unearth here. That means we're close to the end now. We don't need to go all the way over there. child. Still don't have water for the shotgun. I spent it all on the spire. Likewise, the radius upgrade requires water that I don't have, so... I can take move speed? Sure. Apparently there's quite a lot of map left, what I'm learning here. Take 
three hits. Interesting. Okay, sometimes it dies in one hit, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not sure about that. work together. Surely there's something hidden in here, right? Ever lose at this game? Yeah, I've lost a couple of runs when I've failed to... Failed to get my strategy working in time. Two cobalt, huh? Oh, no. Two cobalt I can have, not two, co two cobalt I need to spend. Cool. Alright, let's get up. All these fancy materials. How many waves have we been doing this anyway? Forty-three. That's that's a lot. And somehow I have eight cobalt now. Even better. Shotgun's eight. Yeah, we don't quite have eight. thing that ever happened, but whatever. Find anything, Dribbler? Get to the map. That's what Dribbler found. Find. to the teleporter, though. Switch 
is not in sight. Concerningly. Let's make a shortcut. And the squid is going the long way. Shotgun. Work while I'm not in the dome, so I, I shouldn't exit before those projectiles are done. Just a pro tip to myself. Drillbert, this is not acceptable work conditions. What are you doing? Found a thing too. It was worth it. We just move the teleporter actually, might be easier. Is this max drill speed? No. No, I think there are several more drill upgrades I can get. You can upgrade the drill quite a lot. We're very deep and it's very hard rock. I don't know of any cap to the waves. They do just kind of get progressively stronger, not following any set progression, but rather a random composition each time based on some kind of strength metric. So were we just rushing for the end, we could be winning by now. We could have won already. I'm kind of enjoying maxing out the artillery dome and just slaughtering everything.
Cool, we need several of those. Can, um, we can more than double the strength of the drill with a 30 iron upgrade. I want the last shotgun upgrade, though. Show off what this thing can do. You heard me. So just it. Got him. this stuff back up. Heck. Okay, let's upgrade the teleporters. Resource cooldown. Since we have enough water for that. That will take stuff a lot faster. Here it is. I see one conduit not lit as well. need the drill speed upgrade then. Get more combat upgrades for this final wave coming up. I need some more water. A wide rotation just to give it a try here. Okay.
see. Is it just three we need? Or is there one more? is not active. Be some tough rock to get to it too. Only one answer to this. Drillbert. Wake up. You must come to me, child. I know I can just fly around. I don't want to. It's definitely faster. This wall needs to know a point has been made. Alright, fine. Thirty-five hits. That's a lot of hits. Greatest hits. slightly upwards from here that we're following the uh, following the thing Positioned right. Oh well. So let's grab the final combat upgrades that I want. Double damage rockets. No, I want the shielding upgrades. I want overcharge shield ability duration. For the final wave. Just for funsies here.
There's one. not lit. Two over here. Oh, uh, yeah, I see. This is a double cord. This one. There it is. That wasn't far away at all. Doesn't work. Feel ripped off. Resources and large objects. Okay. So wait, what? What does that teleport? Hmm. Interesting. Speedrun world record of this map is eleven minutes. Love it. Rilberts. <laughs> Makes sense. One left behind. GG. Final upgrades. That worked correctly. We have Twelve to spend. If you hang around for about five more minutes, but uh, you'll you'll see the ending here. Less than that, even. I have nothing to spend this money on, I guess.
so many of them. <laughs> it's definitely tougher than the previous final waves I've seen. Good lord. And yet. Easy peasy. Get spired, nerd. The dome is saved. GG. Show me that big old mine. Yeah, it only took six auto repairs. <laughs> Holy crap, that was a that was a crazy last wave. So many spawns. Fifty-one waves and still alive. Not too bad. Some cobalt up in the corner there we missed. Understandable, considering the location. So, how did I not see that iron there? <laughs> GG. GG, everybody. Unlock invulnerability, new gadget battle ability. Make your dome invulnerable for a short time. Heck yeah. Very cool. Well, Twitch chat, that is going to bring us to the end of our Saturday show. It's been a great time playing some Cobalt Core, some Dome Keeper. We'll probably be back to both of these games again in the future. However, our next stream will be on Tuesday, not later than noon, not later than noon Eastern Time. We're going to be resuming our Ironclad win streak in Slay the Spire. As well as, of course, doing some other variety during that week. That's the plan, Twitch chat. Don't forget to vote in this month's game vote. Help me pick a game to play on stream this month. Top voted game always gets played on stream. Until next time, my friends, though, this is me saying so long, farewell, have a wonderful, wonderful weekend. Let's see, anybody I want to throw a raid to? Show some love to Jorbs. Jorbs has been playing a lot of Spire A20 these days. Always good to see him live. Looks like he's got um, some defect going, and it's a pretty promising start. So why don't you all enjoy some cozy deck building with Jorbs, and have a good one, folks. Till next time, my friends. So long. Farewell. Have a good one. And toodaloo. Bye-bye.